everything you said. Just pay 200 million into the account number I've just given you. And the, re the rest in, uh, in my usual account. That is all. I'll see you when I get back. You sounded so desperate. What can I do for you? Uh, you are uh, double money. I have come to tell you that I have this present issue. Go on, go on, go on. Cousin, you are the friend. We have been friends for long. Well, let you get to the point. Cabin in the I, 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 I want you, I want, uh, I have a lot of pressing issues. I want to launch myself back to my business. Therefore, I want you to lend me some money. Look, this is the last time I want to hear you beg me for anything. I don't have any money to lend you. Allah do anawi. Kene uh, only a woke in the Nadeshi. Uh, you are the only friend that I have. <sighs> Look, I don't have any money to lend you. And that's and that's it. Go. And Go. Huh? The whole money. Please now. I don't have any money to lend you, but I can teach you how to make money. Sammala, sammala, ha ha, sammala, Do you want to make money? Sammala. Yes, of course. I, I, I want to make money. That's so good. So say what? At all costs. At all costs. Come here, I've been saying you. Say Abam Kodi. At all costs, Nasun Kodi. To Allah. So the Allah Nasun Kodi. So say that. Take this. Sammala, Sammala, Ha Ha, Sammala, Hayya. Sammala, Sammala.
uh, listen to me, brother. The children will go in his life, try to complain so many things. I'm very sure you know that as a first son, you know what my obligations are. Even if you're more explicit, I must understand. Okay. You see, this big compound here and beyond, it was specifically acquired because of the but I'm DK, shut up! Why are you shut anymore? Why? Don't know. Are you not aware? How many times have I warned you never to come in Bola DK? Eh? DK, why do you like making issues out of nothing? Out of nothing? Of course. I just talk, they just discuss like that. So you don't know. You don't realize that the greatest mistake the children made was marrying his mother. What? Pradike, you can't marry my mother on mistake? A big mistake. Your mother was an outcast. She was an outcast. On the contrary, father. An outcast. An outcast is an outcast. Regardless for it. An outcast is an outcast in the land of Mobi. So tell me, what makes his own mother's own different? Maybe you forgot. How many times did farmer warn us on his dying bed never to mention it? Tell me why we should not. Why should we not? What did you just say? A man can never be wiser than me. You tell me then. Solomon and David were the wiser. You tell me. Solomon and David were the wiser. Don't you know that when the gods want to kill someone, the first of all makes such a person mad. Do you also know the beauty is in the eyes of the human But a man who plucked the cost fruit because of the such a man is also cost. Stephen's mother was legitimately married my father. And Stephen was born in this house. The same blood that flows in you, that flows in me, flows in him. The fact that Father is late today does not mean a life blinded by sentiment. It's liable to die of the doors even after his demise. It's the only way. Akabula our father did not live a stupid life. You and I know or maybe you might claim not to know but I know that father never did anything without consulting the gods. And no stupid man does that. The Bible told us that. Eh, 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 eh. If truly, this Bible you talk about, the little thing you call Bible, anything you Bible, anything little, 
you truly yourself mean in your heart. Because if he's actually a companion, you can never use a word as or so as an outcast. Refer to your own blood, your own brother as an outcast. Don't tell me about this. At every slightest thing you quote the Bible. Look, do you know that in, in the Bible, the holy book, there were the Gentiles. And when God commanded for the circumcision of male children, it was merely calling for the for, for the freeborn. DK. DK. Do not judge. So you will not be judged. So says the same Bible you are calling or quoting every time. Okay. Anyhow, please. I beg of you. In the name of God. The elders of Umobi will be visiting. Me to kneel down, I will kneel down. Do not speak anything despicable, Stephen. Please, I beg you. Good night, brother. Kneel <laughs> down. What did you know? Imagine I have eight boys, eight sons. Now, where am I supposed to get a piece of land for each of these boys? Where? And you are here talking about Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Yeah. Um, I think you did not just invite me in the Nagichinya to come here and share drinks. Um, this is a I, I thank you for, for coming. I didn't just invite you here to share with you. I know it's a crucial moment. And I appreciate the fact that you spare time to come here. Mm. I invited you here to come and witness the sharing of my father's property. Mm? Yes. Uh, today is the second to the last day of the second seven market days after we buried my father. And I did not employ any kind of trumpeter to blow and let us know uh, his greatness. Hmm? Uh, but I know something that we do not count big numbers without the presence of one's kinsmen. Hmm? Um, we know that my father left behind Two male children. Did I hear you say two male children? Yes. What about your junior youngest brother, Stephen? <laughs> no. Who's Stephen? Who's Stephen? Look at him here. You are saying you don't know him. In the, in the chain. My father left two of us. I declared the first son and my brother Dennis here. So, what has an outcast got to do with freeborn? I will not be a party to you calling Stephen an outcast. I won't. Uh -huh. Because father married his mother just like he married yours and married mine. And he even paid by price. So I don't see any reason why you should be calling him an outcast. Uh, is there a chick junior? Yes. Uh? Yeah. Am I correct? You are saying the truth and I was there. Good. So, please remind him because he seemed, he seemed to have forgotten. What is there to remind me? Hmm? How can I forget that? The fact that our father wandered out of Mobi and went to Omosu to marry. But, 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 Steve, Steve, sit down. Relax. The war is not yet yours. I'm still alive. If DK wants to make an issue out of this, then we will get to the bottom of it. Relax. But, Dennis, this is not time for us to put sense in his head. Is she Lugu? Is she I'm hearing. Are you hearing him talking to me like this? Dickie, you deserve whatever thing he tells you. You are telling me the son of an outcast can talk to me, yes. the first son of, of his Odumegu, uh, the, 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 the heir to the vast land and property of this place? In the first instance, you're not even the first son. If I am not the first son, who is the first son? Who is this you? Chukudum, who died mysteriously? What are you saying? 
What are you insinuating, Dennis? What are you insinuating? You can use your tongue to count your teeth. Mm -hmm. Well, as you go. I thank you for coming. I did not call you here to listen to noise or for us to break noise into your ears. I called you here to witness the sharing of my father's property. Now that I've seen that uh, nobody seems to want to listen to sense here, yeah. I want you to go home. Thank you. Take cool. Uh, the yes. If he wants you to go, please go. When he, the supposed first son of this family, is ready to share our father's property, the three of us, him, me and Stephen will sit down together without any outsider and share the properties. So please go. Did you say three of us? The three of us, yes. Ah, Dennis, have you forgotten or did you not even know that I have eight sons? Eight sons! What has that got to do with what we're discussing? What? You don't know? Oh, you cannot know because you don't have any. Hmm. But I will tell you, I, DK, as a first son, I will pick and I will choose. Then each one of my eight sons will pick and choose. Every single one of them. Then, before anyone can, can pick, I will be reminisced for this outcast. DK, it is not your, your place to share your father's property. It is our duty as women to do that. But since you say I should go, I am going. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, Thank you very much, sir. Go well. Hello, sweetheart. You're back. Wow, welcome. I was wondering if you'll still come back. Well, I'm here now. I hope there's something for me to eat. Oh, sure. Let's bring it out. Auntie. Good evening. Yes. Oh, Auntie, how are you? You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, he, he came with me. Yes, uh, Stephen, please sit down and make yourself comfortable, okay? Okay, Uncle. I'll be with you soon, eh? Do you have regard for me at all? What kind of stupid question is that? Everything. What are you actually driving at? How could you bring in your brother without letting me in? Honey, come on. An impromptu problem demands an impromptu action. I don't understand. Honey, DK is in his worst situation right now as we speak. Leaving Stephen behind there is going to be insanity on my part. Whatever. How could you bring in your brother without letting your wife whom you claim you love know about it? Honey, please, let's not go there. Let's not just go there. <clears throat> How long is this staying? Honey, I said I don't want to discuss it. Can we just drop... How long is this staying, Danny? Then you don't shout at me! Fine, if you must know, he's here to stay. I see. See that? I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like us quarreling over issues concerning my brother. No, it shouldn't be. Please. I mean, 
tell you something. What? Maybe you don't want to know. I come from a polygamous home. My father is what we married four wives. And each of these women had a male child. Now, out of the four of us, two died mysteriously, leaving just Dickie and I. All of a sudden, Dickie became what nobody could understand. Dickie became evil. I talk about evil personified. Dickie became self-centered. He, all he knew was just himself. Only that's I, Dennis or the Mewu, is alive today is God. Steve is my half brother. He's all I've got now. And he, I was married. I had three children, three boys. They all died mysteriously. You and I have not been able to have children of our own. Steve is all I have right now. And I can't afford to leave him behind with Dickie. No. Honey, I will not forgive myself should anything happen to Steven. No. I don't trust Dickie. That's why I had to get him here to stay with us. This is the only place I can give him security. Please. I know very well that I ought to have discussed this with you as my wife. But you see, in the home, there are certain decisions a man takes unilaterally for the good of the family. I didn't do what I did to hurt you, no, or to disregard you or disrespect you, no. Please, I'm sorry. But Steve is a good boy. I want you to take him as your son. Please. Treat him like one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the way I talk to you. Please. No, it's okay. It's alright. I shouldn't say I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. Steve is a good boy. Hmm? Okay. Take him as your own son. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you too. Steven, yes, right. how are you? Please come and sit down. How are you? Very fine. Very fine. <laughs> I hope you're getting acclimatized with uh, the office, huh? Yes, yes, Brother Dennis. Good, good. Uh, Brother Dennis, I hope you've not forgotten that I'm in my second year in the university. Of course I know. Why are you asking? <laughs> Nothing. I... Brother Dennis, I... I hope Papa's sudden death shouldn't mean the end of my dream of becoming a chemical engineer. Yes. You know, but uh, there's something I want you to understand. That the end of one's dream could mean the beginning of one's destiny. Okay? Brother Dennis, I, I don't understand. How do you mean? Now, I want you to go to the showroom, the electronic parts. Yes. Okay, take a look around. Go around there. Okay? <laughs> Brother Dennis, I've, I've already done that. Do it again. Okay, sir. All okay. right. Okay? Okay, Excuse me, I'll be right. back to shortly. He has a long way to go. He doesn't know where I'm coming from. Steve, how are you? I'm 
fine, sir. Fine. How was your day? Fine. I'm sure you see the head office. Yes, yes, sir. I saw it. So what's your impression? Oh, very impressive. Very impressive. Oh, thank you. I also have three other branches in different parts of the town. You do? No, they're not as big as that. Yeah. Wow. Brother Dennis, I am so impressed and pleased to have a brother like you. It's all right. With that, God. Come, come and sit down. So we thank God in every situation we have to be grateful to God. Yeah. You know, we strive to be where we are today. And God blessed the works of our hands. You know. Well, that's by the way. Steve. Yes. You know our brother DK has really, really changed since Papa died. Yes, yes, I, I noticed. You must have also noticed that um, he doesn't want you around. Exactly, exactly. I, I don't know why. You see, Steve, you have come of age to get to know certain things that happens in the family. And I'm going to let you into it. Chukudum, our late old brother, who used to fight with Dike all the time, died mysteriously. Again, my three children from my first marriage also died mysteriously. Even though we know that these deaths are not far from what TK can do. But it is well. We leave it to God. You are a half brother, but the same blood flows in our stream. I will not forgive myself should anything happen to you, leaving you behind there. Hence, I decided to bring you in here to protect you from him. You know. Brother Dennis, are you trying to say that? Oh, no, no, Steve, Steve. Let us say that's part of discussion for another day. All right? You must be very tired, okay? Go upstairs, go get some rest. Okay, sir. something I want us to talk about. Oh really? I'm mm. more ears. I want Stephen to join me in my business. I mean, I want him to learn the the electronics trade. But he's still in the university. I know. I know. No. I don't think you know. Honey, I know what I'm doing. I don't think you do because if you do, why do you then want him to quit school? All I'm asking for is your cooperation. What do you mean by my cooperation? I want you to take him as your son. The son you and I do not have for now. It is going to go a long way to helping me achieve what I intend to achieve. Please. I beg of you. Yes, brother. 
I am twice your age. Yes. And things I see sitting, you probably might not see standing. Things like your future. My future. Well, but brother, I I don't follow. What we discussed last night. What do you think about it? Oh, that uh, honestly, brother, I um, <clears throat> I don't know what to say. Honestly. Very well then. Drive me to the office. Because of his money. His money. <laughs> Think so? Ah. If not, what else could make him behave like that? Ah. 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 You see, money and arrogance dwell in the same house like twins live together. Oh, they live together. Eh? You see, that's your brother. You're wanting to continue your education might prove disastrous to all of us in the long run. How? Anything can happen to me. Very Dennis. <laughs> what what will ever happen to a good man like you? Things happen to everybody, good or bad. No, Villa Dennis, nothing will ever happen to you in Jesus' name. Amen. I like your confidence a lot. Or should I say, your optimism about life. But unfortunately, I do not share in it. What are you talking about, sir? Stephen. You know I'm a very straightforward man. Very blunt when I deal. You see, Stephen, we are all strangers in this world. And someday, our Creator will call us. And we must answer to the call. Stephen, I want you to know that should anything happen to me, while you're in the university, DK, our brother, would take everything that belongs to me, leaving you with nothing. Brother Dennis, you're getting me very confused. Anyhow, <clears throat> Stephen, I want you to join me in my business. I want you to learn my trade. I want you to make money for yourself. Make money? Yes. Make money. With money, you will be strong enough to face any battle that will come your way. But, Brother Dennis, money does not solve every problem. Well, it doesn't. I agree with you, but to a large extent, it does. Because if you make money for yourself, you will be prepared for any battle decay might present in the future, should anything happen to me.
that's where I'm going to. That's why I want you to join my business. That's why I want you to make money. Because anything can happen anytime. So when I'm gone, you will stand firm to defend yourself. What of your brother? Were you able to convince him? Not yet. Or will he ever? Well, that depends. Depends on what? Of course, my ability to convince him. Convince him on what? Oh, sweetheart, I thought I've told you to exercise patience. Haven't I? We shouldn't be discussing this issue all the time, please. I know. I know you have, but honestly, I was thinking that maybe I should talk to him myself, considering the the fact that God bestowed powers on us women. <laughs> you know something, so sweetheart. You know sometimes, you know, when I hear you sound like this, you know, you remind me of when we actually met. Mm. How you so sweet tell me to do things you want me to do. Mm. Anyhow, thanks. I appreciate it, okay? You're blushing. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know you still remember. Of course I do. Why not? It's okay. I thought maybe your family problems have taken away the shy of me. No, come on. It's not possible. That's not possible at all. I've been neglected of recent. Neglected? Yes. How? <laughs> but we still, uh, you know, most nice, don't we? <laughs> okay, let me ask you. When last did you take me out? Oh, is that what you're talking about? Oh, yes. You see, you see. No, we see nothing. See, honey, in as much as you might not like doing those things that we used to do before, but I still do. And remember, you promise. I remember, okay? Don't worry, I'm falling short. Okay, I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. Promise? Promise. <laughs> <laughs> This is um, the right place and time to let you into this. I'm actually thinking of co-opting my brother Stephen into my business. What do you think? You want him to put school for business? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with it? I mean, I've made so much money in business. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with my brother joining me so he can start making money on his own. How will he start making money immediately? Well, he has to um, start as an apprentice, get to learn over time within a time frame, after which, um, when he's learned, I uh, will uh, give him freedom and then settle him with um, some amount of money to start out on his own. That's the way it's usually done. Mm. Does he know about it? No, 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 no. He shouldn't know about it. Normally they are not told. If you get to tell them, they become lazy. So you allow them to learn without knowing the time period, the time frame. The apprenticeship is going to last. That's why it's done. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This thing is always getting sticky. Sorry, sorry. I'm sure it's going to spoil the taste of my no, drink. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Mm. On the contrary, it's making the drink sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't you time. are the best. Anytime. Anything for you, okay? I love you. Auntie, I quite understand. But I wish I could grab my degree first. Oh, Steven, 
That means you don't take your brother's advice as well intended. No, far from it, Auntie, far from it. I do understand that my brother has good intentions. But what about me as an individual? Auntie, it's my future we're talking about here. something or something is chasing it. And that scene is as bad as the land. See, even though I've come this late to your house, that same proverb is still applicable to my coming here. Mm. Yes, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. Uh, my friend, I have thought over and over again and I've come to the conclusion that you are correct. You are right, my friend. I'm always correct about everything. Uh, but what is it now? It's about to go deep behind his current antics. Uh, it, 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 that's no news. It's a public knowledge. I wonder why you didn't know anything about it. Well, you know, uh, many things happen in a man's life. Maybe I just derailed momentarily. I am happy that you are the one saying it. Maybe the couple will have gone out of your time. Where you when will you take me to Godibia? Or what when you I used I used to know. Ah, ah. When, when, when would you take me? Straight away. <laughs> if it suits you, can we No 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 okay, okay. By cockro. Cock crow in the morning. If it's okay by you. Ah, a brother at Rafa Bruzo. That's why you have me as a friend. Uh, but, um do uh, you have a white cock? White cock, what for? Without it to go, it cannot perform. With your no show. It's just for a consultation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> um, I, it was very tos. It's okay, man. <laughs> Let me see you off. <laughs> We have forgot on our way here to drop this off uh, at uh, the Williams. Okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Drop it off there. Okay? okay. Please, uh, and don't be, don't be long. Yeah? Okay. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Remember, don't be long, please. Yeah? Okay, sir. You're back. Yes, I'm back. Welcome. How did you go? Yeah, well, well. I go. No, you are great. Oh, really? That's the best decision. So he's going back to school. So he agreed? On the contrary. 
I am the one that agreed. Wow. That's the best. He's going back to school. The sweetheart. Steve is not here back, sir. You mean he's not back yet? Sir, I thought you sent him an idea, sir. Oh, yes, for how long now? He's been gone for a long time, over five hours now. Quickly, go and check in the car, sir. To the GP, sir. It's not in the compound, sir. Uh, honey, what is it? Why is your face like this? <coughs> How do you mean? I sent him to deliver a parcel at the Williams for over five hours now. And he hasn't returned. Anyway, you know young men these days, they will always want to enjoy themselves whenever they are out of bright eyes. It is not the Stephen that I know. Stephen, is he not an undergraduate? Yes, he is. I know him. I know him. No. Hey! Jesus Christ! I don't know which evil, what devil, that made me send him out without a driver. I mean, you, you don't have to blame yourself. You know, what do you want me to do? Certain things could have been rotted, you know? Can you imagine me sending my brother to an early grave? God forbid, nothing will happen to you. Nothing, you're not going to die. Don't Yes, please, um, how bad is it? Pretty bad. Oh, really? Pretty bad. Well, um, before we continue treatment, for any further treatment, we are going to carry out a proper test on him. Please, carry out all the necessary tests, please. All right, do whatever you can. Okay, because there's a possibility he might even be having a turn bleeding. We'll do our best, we'll do our best. Uh -huh. Please, scan, do some scanning. I will take care of it, please. Well, I came to check how he is faring. Thank you very much, eh? Thank you, Doctor. Who 
Varedo! Varedo! Aham! Varedo! Ah, ah! Diga lá, vai isso! Vai lá! Vai lá! This is not time for flashback. Let's sit down, sit down, sit down. Uh-oh! What is it? This is not time for flashback at all. No. What is it? I actually haven't heard anything now. I just want to happen. Maybe it has happened, but... No. No, if it has happened, I would have known. And I would have even told you. I even sent that boy to go and call them. Everybody's fine. In fact, it was the wife who picked up the call. The wife? Yes. Maybe they were hiding it from her. You think I've not thought about that? Yeah. Ah, I thought about it now. I even called and I pretended to be someone else. And guess what? Denise answered the call. That is strange. What is strange? Because since the DJ never fails. It better not fail this time. Hmm? Well then, it better not fail you because it is the fattest of my goods I give you more. Ah, it, be, it better not fail you. Ah. And what, what do I do now? You have to wait. You will be patient. This is the deal. We will show up. Oh yeah! Who are you? Batama, Batama! Ah! Your shoes, your shoes! Bring them up! Yes? Uh, uh, the friend I came with the other day. What about him? That thing did not work. Who says who? You should be sure of yourself before you close all the ends of the beer. Now go! I have a meeting with the Spirit King. If he sees you here, you join your hazard souls. You join your hazard souls. Go now! If he sees you here, you join I'm your hazard go, go! Go! And never you look back until you get to your home. Go! Sound encouraging at all. Honey, what I, I find very difficult to understand is that a hospital as big as Scintillati Memorial Hospital cannot tell me what my brother's problem is. Honey, you don't have to talk like that. They are doing their best. They already said they have a critical case at hand. For how long would I continue to hear that? As long as it can carry them. And then? I will hurt emotionally. No. You want them to hurry into a mistake? It is not just possible, Rachel, that a, hot, a hospital that big will make mistakes? No, it's not possible. Honey, people when pushed to the wall make mistakes. Mm -hmm. That sounds like incompetence to me. Seriously. Now listen, let me tell you something. Rachel, that you do not know. Should anything happen to Steve, DK or Demewu, my brother, will come pounding on both of us. He is going to tell the whole world that you and I used Steve for money ritual. You're going to bet on it? How could he say things like that? How can he do that? Richard, but you should know him. Why are you sounding like this? Don't you know him? You should know him. Anyway, he can go on and say whatever he likes. Oh no. Oh no, sweetheart. No. This should make you more concerned. Because what you and I should be doing right now is pray. Prayers. Let nothing happen to Stephen. Nothing will happen to him. Amen. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Honey, something very unusual happened today. What is it that happened? You won't believe this. A boy called me. 
Who's a boy? I brought you your nephew, DK's son. What? Huh. What did he say? He called and said he wanted to find out if everything is alright with us. Just that? Yes. Do I knew there was more to it. And when I prodded further, he said his father asked him to call. <laughs> you said my nephew, a boy, called. Yes. To know how we're doing and where you prodded further. He turned around to say that his father asked him to call. Dickie called. Dickie, my brother, called to know how we were doing. <laughs> Wonders shall never end. Yes. Honey, people change. Yes. But what worries me is the coincidence. Coincidence? Yes. That's the word. Wait a minute. You said a boy called. Yes. And said his father asked him to call to know how we're doing. Mm. Could not explain the strange call I got earlier on today. A strange call? Yes. I got a strange... Some person called me earlier on today. And when I picked it up, the person tried to muffle his voice. I kept saying hello, 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 hello. And the person would not respond. And all of a sudden, the person cut off. <sighs> okay. There is nothing. There's nothing DK is not capable of. Where are we heading to? Well, I'd like to shut down. I'd like to shut down and rest my head a little bit. I smell rats. I smell rats. Where are you? I smell rats. I need to think because DK might be up to wanting to eliminate Steve and I. No. No. What are we even saying? The only thing I know that happened is that Steve had an accident. That's all. He had an accident. Hello? Hello? You call that an accident? Or an accident? But let me tell you something. It is my family. I know my family. You were only married into the family. I can't smell rats when I say it. Good night. Sammala, Sammala, ha ha, Sammala, hiya. The results of the tests are out. Mr. Dumewu is critical. The result proves that he has internal bleeding. Don't worry, we are handling it. Oh. oh. What worries me most is that uh, we discover that he has a chronic kidney failure. What? Within the next seven days. Please, 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 please,
to speed up uh, the kidney transplant on him. We need a matching kidney. Get a I will pay. I will pay. You see, I believe that you, as the brother, can. Doctor, yeah, doctor, please get from anywhere. I will pay any amount. I will pay. Anybody here? Hello? 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 How are you? How are you? I'm fine. Did you just come in from the table? Hey, yes, sir. Ah. How are you, sir? Good. Ah, you're looking good, though. Uh, it's good, though. Thank you. You're not looking bad. So, how, how is Lagos? Lagos is fine, though. As you know, besides the hustle and bustle of uh, Lagos lifestyle. But you people are equal to the task now. <laughs> oh, we want to now. Yes, yeah, you have seen this. So there's no trouble in Lagos? At all. <laughs> and so there, there's no um, no problem in Lagos at all? Not at all, no. Ah, it's my brother. Uh, you mean uh, Oga Dennis? Yes, now. Do I have two brothers in Lagos? Oga ah. uh, Oga Dennis is doing very well. In fact, he's fine. Uh, yes, we were together at the village meeting in Lagos yesterday before I left for the village today. Dennis, my brother, is fine. Very well. Eh? He is. Are you, are you sure that my brother Dennis is fine? You need to see him. Looking very robust. Hmm. How can he be fine? How can he be fine? How can he be fine when the DBI says, eh? Uh, how can he be. Sorry? As the DBI said, what, sir? Oh. The DBI said. No, no, no. Never mind me, no matter. But you say my brother is fine. <laughs> yes, sir. And that's good. Uh, yes, sir. Well, thank you. Okay, sir, so I. Please, uh, this is a token from me. Oh, uh, for me. Just yeah. uh, manage this as uh, a bridge. Oh, thank, you. Uh, uh, thank you. I just uh, have to start going and uh, see some okay. other people around the village. Thank you. I'm so grateful, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. How can it be fire? Where is it? man is expecting news from that place. Tell me he's dead, I'll be happy. See, don't they put it in carton where this one come from? Let me do it, let me stupid dream, stupid dream, stupid Nonsense. Doing fine, but Chief, you see, the German doctor commended our patients. I don't understand what you mean by that. Um, Chief, it would have been critical if we had attempted moving him. Chief, under normal circumstances now, the spinal cord situation will be handled by one of the best experts in the world. It will be started in the next uh, few weeks. Weeks? Chief. The impact on your brother's uh, cervical vertebrae was so hard. I'm surprised that he survived. He's so lucky. It's a great miracle that he's living. Doctor, I know the God I serve is a miracle working God. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Wow. 
So, when do we commence treatment? Oh, Chief, as soon as we get the one million naira, we'll start immediately. One million naira? Exactly, Chief. Okay. So, I'll see you again. So, you said that the next patient is coming uh, I was thinking that you donate your own. Are you out of your mind? Sweetheart. That I should donate my own kidney? Why are you talking like this? What do you mean by I should donate my kidney? Eh? Huh? Oh, so you want me to die? I am talking huh? about your blood brother. I'm talking about Stephen. Oh, but were you not there when I told the doctor? To go ahead and look for a matching kidney that I'm, I'm willing to pay? Medically, Stephen is your brother. And I know that there are every tendency that your kidney will match with his. Oh, so you want me dead? This is what you've been scheming for. I thought you said you love me. Sweetheart, huh? but I do, I... Don't you touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, so you want me dead? This is what you've been scheming for. How can I? Huh? Sweetheart! But were you not there? When the doctor said what he said? And I made him a firm promise that you go ahead, that we will not pay anything? Sweetheart, don't make me conclude that you've suddenly developed a stone heart to your own blood brother. Don't. Okay. If you don't want to do that, I'm not going to sit back here and watch Stephen die, I will donate mine. You will do no such thing, because I'm not going to sit back here and watch you die and will time you dead. I won't do it. I'm becoming a widow, widow. I will do that. Rachel, sure you will not do it. Sweetheart, whether you like it or not, I am going straight for a test. And if my kidney matches his, I will do that. You will not do it. Rachel! I said, Rachel, Rachel, look, Rachel, I told you that you will not do it. Alright? I have prepared to spend everything to make sure he gets a kidney. But certainly not yours. He said everybody there, they are still ill and healthy. Nothing's wrong with them. Maybe it has not happened. Of course it has not happened now. If it happened, I would have known. It means the man is lying to me. Uh, nothing has happened, they are ill and healthy. I, I, I call them. You, uh, uh, but he didn't say they will fall sick. 
You say you will give the accident. The accident has not happened now for four days. You know how many times my red cock has croaked now for, 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 for four days? He said a cock crow. Four days ago, my red cock is just crowing and crowing. Since then, nothing happened. I was counting minutes. What do you want now? I want my ego goat back. I want it back. But who has ever demanded back what he has given to the gods? It's never done. That is because such person has not given to the gods that fail. If you give to the gods to perform for you and they did not perform, they give you back what you give them now. I'm, I, I'm asking for a refund. My hand is not on me, so. I can't hide the rock here. Wrap it up, madam. No, no. Why do Take me to this video. Take me to him. I want, I want my ego back. Ah, who has ever demanded from God? Which God? If you, if you give God something and it is not performed, you ask for a refund now. You take me to him, oh. Kind of frost Honey, I want to be by his side when he wakes up. By whose side? Stephen, of course. Oh. Rachel, I must be very frank with you. I am very impressed about the way you're going about my brother's ailment. Thank you very much, huh? Honey, remember what you asked me to be. His mother. I remember. He must survive. Yeah. Yes. Stephen must survive. Considering the insinuation that may come out of your brother, DK, if anything go wrong. That is what is propelling me. I'm so glad you now understand. But honey, don't you think that keeping away Steve's present condition from your brother DK might complicate matters if anything go wrong? Nothing will go wrong. Amen. But you never can say. I know. And secondly, I do not intend to allow DK, my brother, see Stephen until he fully regains consciousness. I hope you know what you are doing. Absolutely. Please, can we just say a short prayer? I want to sleep, please. In the name the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for a moment like this. Thank you for everything you have been doing. Thank you for the ones you will do. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Um, um, uh, um. Will you shut up? What's the meaning of this rubbish? You spent 180,000 on Marcelinos? Let me ask you, what is the total of your sales for the month? This month in question. But Oga, uh... Will you shut up? Just a trip. A little trip. And I left the shop for you and the other boys. And you turned my shop into a bazaar. Leaving me a bill of 180,000 naira. Now you listen to me. Take this book. I want you to break down every kobo as you spent every kobo. I want the breakdown right away. I take it right away. Pick it up and get out. It, get out! Idiots.
Jawa Tongkas. Udah. Eh, Demi. Udah. 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 Philip, uh. Oga, say me will give him proper account how he spent that hundred eighty thousand. I am scared. He can't go. Hey, what's that on me now? Huh? What's that on me? Now are you deaf? Now, what's going on? Now look at David. Now because of small thing, Oga asked you. Now you sweat like Christmas goat. You answer David, but you don't even get any wisdom for your head at all. Now you shake like this. Okay, so me will give him the complete explanation of how he spent the money. That one I call him again. Give him break down. Now, 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 please. I am sure what I want is give me the idea. What will I write? What will I tell Oga? How will, will I tell Oga? So, okay, what now? I call the money. Eh? Hey. Hey. Just okay, okay, wait. You know, your name is David, but you know, get single wisdom for that head. Why they see? Make I borrow you one. Uh, tell Oga, say, we use the money for MNW. Eh? Waka. Make you write, make you write for books, so we take and do MNW. Man, no be wood. Okay, okay. Man, 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 man. Okay, no, wait. You don't miss out, oh. Oga, feel they come inside this place. And if Oga hear my voice, I go tell and say, now you, and you go go village. Makes sense. I go see there. Oh, well, okay, see. Tell Oga, say, we use the money, change oil. Yes. Oil oh, changes. I go call Oga, you need to go, man. Perfect. Oga, I'm going to go. I'm water. David. I'm water. Oil change. Oil change. I'm going to tell him the oil change. Boy, your face well, low. No go smile to tell him, tell him, Oga, we use and change oil. You know, no, oh, yeah, map, no. you know, you know, you know, you change. The carry beginning, and now you should like your name. Where Peko is a lot of an annual image. I don't know what it is. Oil change, give up to a like that. Oil change, I think. I did, I did work, I did, I did, I can't speak. What's with that, sir? You know, I did clean the fridge where I did, 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 I What do you mean by all you change? Huh? David? Sir, is the... What is the meaning of all you change? All you change. All you change. All you change. Can you give me all you change? Which oil are you changing? Is there expenses, sir? Did there expenses? Yes. Or you spent my money changing oil. The things we the things we use the money to do, sir. Which oil? Is it generator oil? That costs just how much? You spent oil change. Oil change. Oil change. Oil change. Can you give me oil change? Can you explain this to me? I cannot understand what you what, what you mean by oil change and which oil you're changing. So maybe I, I, I we... we don't tell me what you mean by I don't understand what you mean by oil change. Which oil are you changing? Sir, so, how do I need to explain it again, sir? It's oil you changing. That's the. That's the uh. Are you mad? Is it the jet oil you're changing or what? You change the jet oil every day. Which oil you change are you talking about here? Ah, hello, hello, Dennis. It is me, your brother. My brother? Good brother. Is that Dicky? Uh, yes, of course. Who else? Uh, uh, Dicky, I hope it is well that is what you are calling. Is it a crime to call you? Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, no. It's not a crime. Uh, to how are you? Well, Dennis, I did not call you to, for you to ask me questions. 
I call to ask how people are. How we are? You want to know how we are? This is strange. Oh. Dennis, how are you? How is your wife? How is Steven? Well, we're all fine. We're all, everybody's fine. Good. Are you sure? We're, we're fine. Uh, except that... Um, Just that what? Steven. Steven was involved in an accident. Accident? Yes. Um, Is he dead? But he's fine now. He's fine now. Uh, Dickie, please. Uh, I, I was in the middle of something be before you called. Do you mind? I'll call you back later. Okay. okay. I'm asking, where are you coming from? Where do you think I'm coming from? That is not the answer to my question. Anyway, if you need a straight answer, I am coming from the hospital. By this time of the night? 12 midnight? Your brother Stephen needed some company and I had to. You had to do what? In fact, he didn't even want me to go. And what's the meaning of that? Dennis, you asked me to take care of your brother. And I am doing just that. At my detriment? Without you caring if I eat or not? My God. Dennis, you asked me to take care of Stephen as a son we didn't have. And that's what I'm doing. And then starve me? Somebody, that's the ghost. Uh, don't look at me. I didn't tell him anything. DK! Did you know? The ghosts are hungry. Uh, I'm not as angry as I am right now. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Yes, of course. I'm very angry. You told me that my brother would die. That was two weeks ago. He's still alive today. Uh. Didn't he get the accident? But it's the wrong one. It is the wrong one. That, it's not the one that I want to die first. Who are you to choose for the cause? Their order of preference. Look at this. The, the wrong one that you even chose is not dead. He, died, he had an accident and he's still alive. And you even leave the hospital very soon. Ah. Because their hands are clean. You lied to me. You lied to me. They were after you, but they are not. You are after innocent people. If you don't retrace your step, you shall have a catastrophic end. <clears throat> uh, uh, what, what business of yours it is if their hands are clean? Your shrine demanded for goat. I brought goat. Your shrine is not performing. Uh, I want my goat back. Oh. Where did you get this greedy man? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Oh. You think all Dibia sent their ghosts after innocent one? No. No, no, no. Your shrine said you will perform. You will perform. I, I want my goat back. <laughs> it cost me more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You wait. Wait. <laughs> wait for your goat. Wait. I'll wait. You can hear what I mean. You can hear what I mean. Let me hear what I mean. Let me hear what I mean. Let me hear what I mean. Don't you know how much that goat cost me? Did the master bring goat? I brought goat. He said somebody will die, you don't die. 
if someone had an accident, that one is still alive. I want my goat back. I've not bought this fool. I'm not stupid at all. <laughs> no, have your goat. Nah, here is your goat. Come and have it. Have your goat. Hey, hey, oh, you think it's all Dibia that spilled innocent blood? No, I go after evil ones and not the good ones. <laughs> Come and have your goat. Have it. Mom, where did you learn all these things? Well, I just learned. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't wait to eat the food. Mom, you just relax yourself. Let me get through, okay? Then you get to realize I'm a very good cook. All right, I'm waiting. Your food is getting better and better every day. What's the secret? It's Steve's magic. <laughs> Steve's magic? What do you mean by Steve's magic? You didn't know he was an excellent cook. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't mean to tell me Steve did this cooking? Practically. Brother, please, don't listen to what mom just said. Well, I, I only helped out in the cooking, that's all. Oh, you did? Well, <clears throat> it's okay. But let me tell you something, uh, Stephen. When a man begins to do a woman's job, that means idleness has set in. I just want you to know this and have it at the back of your mind. Well, that's by the way. Tell me, when are you going back to school? When I don't want to go back to school. You don't? Yes, Mom. Why? There is something I have not told both of you. And what could that be? Remember the accident I told you about? What are you talking about? Brother, it's true. It's DK. He wanted me dead. Steven, what if you just said how possible it is? Very possible. There's nothing that is beyond the game. But are you, have you forgotten? I have always told you that DK is a devil's incarnate. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't spoil you. No. I must say I'm very happy that you accepted my proposal to join us here in this company. Well, brother, it, it, has, it has all passed now. Good. Now, I want you to be completely in charge of everything we do here. Take your time. Get on the study how we do our business here. Over there are brochures of companies we deal with abroad in our importation business. There are files here and there, or in those drawers there, and then in the office. As a matter of fact, David will uh, get you acquainted with what we do here. Okay? Uh, Dennis, what about David? Stephen. David is an apprentice, learning the trade under me. We 
you are my brother, my blood brother. As long as my money, our money, is safe with you, I have no problem. Okay, brother Dennis, trust me. I will do everything I can. You can count on me. I would not disappoint you. Very well then. <laughs> so this will give me time to spend with my wife and do other things I am supposed to do. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Brother Dennis, there is something I would like to bring to your knowledge. What could that, what could that be? It's about the uh, apprentices that is working for us here in this company. Yes, what about them? You see, they, will, they withdraw some huge sum of money every week. And what did they do with the money? And according to them, they said that they use it for what they called oil change. Oil change? What's the meaning of that? I don't know. I just don't know. Oil change. Where are they? Um, David! Where's Philip? Stand there, stand, stand there. Okay. Steve, repeat what you just told me. I said, these three young men here, they withdraw some huge sum of money every week. Yes. And when I found, I asked them, they said that they use the money for what they called oil change. You heard him. You heard him. You, you do the money, you use the money for what? Wait a minute. What did you call that thing again? Oil change. This same phrase, oil change, cropped up some time ago when I traveled to bury Papa and I came back and you presented me with some expenses uh, lists and what I saw in there was oil change, oil change, oil change. Tell, tell me. What do you mean by oil change? Okay. It's Philip. What's the meaning of oil change? Okay. okay, don't listen to him. Why are you calling my name? What is the name of oil change? Okay. When we close the market at the weekend, sir. Yes. Uh -huh. Name it! Will you shut up? Okay. Continue that listening, yes. We stop briefly at, at that, that hotel. Ooh, but go on, what happened to the hotel? Sir, we, we, we branch. David! Are you, are you, are you mad, sir? Sorry, sir. Will you shut up? You stop, you stop, you don't know. Who does? I'm listening, go ahead. How many of you? Three of you? Sir, two of us, sir. Yes. Sir, we stopped there and then. Uh, uh... Sir, uh, don't, don't mind him. We start changing oil, sir. What do you mean by change oil? Sir, it's Philip that brought the idea of a, of a changing oil. Ask him, ask him. Now, what, is, what do you mean by oil changing oil? Are you dumb? Sir, I'll talk. <laughs> oil change. Well, you know, uh, every weekend after we close from work. Yes? What happens? We, we stop at where he mentioned. Yes, to do what? And we go there to see those people there. What happens there? Those uh, girls. Yes, sir. There. What? But we just we don't do anything now. We just. So what do you do here with the girls? Okay, I'll get my tap on. Hey man. What 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 is okay, it? Okay, what? okay, okay, my tap. Hey man, hey man, tap on. We just hey we just go and stay with them and do like this, okay? <laughs> but so, it, it, it's David that normally carries the the the, the big. The Will you shut up? Shut up. Okay, me I used to escort them. So that is what you, you people go to do? 
prostitutes. Stephen, mm -hmm. do you know what these idiots go to do where they go to? Spending my money on? Prostitutes! What? Prostitutes? No, okay, they're not, they're not prostitutes. Prostitutes? No. They're, no. They're, they're no. Somebody's not. Get out of it. Somebody's not. Okay, I, I, can explain, I, I can explain everything. Ha. Let me just explain everything to you. Sir. I'm Sammy, I don't No, I don't okay, He's the one that brought the money. He's the one that brought the money. He's not the one that keeps. Will you shut up? You're the one that brought the money now. But. Okay. I only suggest that you brought money. Mm. And me, I've never followed them. You went. I've not. And you call it oil you change. David. Oh, oh God, the oil you change. You know, man, no, before I move now. So. <laughs> David, can you go? So, this is what you people do with my money? 180,000 naira and the impress account Stephen is talking about used my money on prostitutes. So this is what you people do? Sir, me, I don't I don't follow them, sir. Sorry, sir. Shut up. So it's, 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 it's David that brings the money and I only suggested and he brought the money and he wanted to carry the big gear. I see. Okay, let me explain. The three of you you're leaving this office. Sir, sir, I will let go. Okay? I can explain to you, sir. Now. Sir, get out. Sir, be cool. Get out. Sir, be cool. Sir, get out. 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 Get Imagine. So this is what these boys have been spending their money to do. Carry on prostitutes. When I went to work, I went for Papa's burial. Yes. I came back and they bought a bill of 180,000 naira. And when I asked what they, what they used it for, they brought the breakdown. All I saw in, in, in the breakdown was, oh, you change, oh, you change, oh, you change, oh, you change. And I was wondering what, is, what, what they meant by, oh, you change. So this oh, you change is prostitutes. I know what to do now. But I think I have to do that. Sweetheart, young men of these days do a lot of things. To err is human, but to forgive is divine. I want you to forgive these boys. You know we are looking for children, and forgiveness should be our watchword. Please. Yes, I know we're looking for children, but it does not mean I have to tolerate my boys. Boys working for me, apprentices working for me, learning, serving under me, patronizing prostitutes. I will not tolerate it. Rachel, I'm sorry, I will not. Sweetheart, sweetheart, you don't have to send it back in just like this. I said, leave me alone, I will not. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to send these boys back in just like that. I don't want it. You don't want to do that, please. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. Please. I'm begging you, my love. Stevie. No. You're back. Mom, how are you? Mom, how are you? Fine, you're welcome. What is it? Mom, I'm hungry. You know what to do. Mom, what exactly are you saying? Just go to the kitchen and take your food. And we have food there?
Mm. How does it taste? Very nice. Do you like it? Wonderful. Nice. That was your only smoke. Well, let me give you. Um, give you some rain. Mm, thank you so much, now. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm. Mom, I would like to know. Are you the one who actually prepared this food? Oh, sure. Wow. You don't like it? No, I love it. I don't just like it. <laughs> <laughs> So delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> oh. Steve, you fucked up big time. How could you have exposed all of us? Me? No, nah, you fuck up, bro. You fuck up. No, nah, you fuck yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You expose fuck up. you people. Who For what? Listen, I did not expose any of you, any of you. Rather, you all exposed yourselves. How? What do you mean, how do you mean? Eh? What do you mean? What kind of stupid question is that? Where did you get that stupid slang from? Let's change oil. Change of oil. You're asking me, how do I mean? Nah, nah, this move. Don't I fire you. Where you come with me? I take my No, 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 Every one of us have come off the age of toasting a lady. It's good, it's clear. But if we want to toast a lady, let us go for decent girls, responsible girls. For God's sake, not prostitutes. What are we going to do with prostitutes? Okay, now. Now listen, Philip. Are you not the one that suggested that? Yeah? You are not putting all the blame on me. Okay. If Philip suggested it, you stupidly followed him. I suggested it, and you followed me. Even when we get to that place, when we get to the hotel, you were the one. I wasn't even advising you to take the smaller woman. When you took the big nash, I mean, yabo. Now, you, now, I thought I would fire you, idiot. See you. When we got there, I wanted to carry the small one. He asked me to carry the ikebe super, the big nash. We not the one. I not the one. I don't blame you. Since you started removing oil from your body, you're looking at you want be. You call me a fool. Turn the fire you there. You're yeah, the one that is a fool. Get away. Get away. Get away. You, 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 see, you see, you see, the thing is, the thing is, you guys don't know the implication of this. Whenever a man follows an aunt, a shower, a prostitute, this man turns to lose his focus. Ooh. You don't focus anymore. Wait, you see, what focus? Do you have any focus? What focus are you talking about? See, let me tell you. So you want all of us, as grown up as we are, to fold our hands and stay without changing oil? You can convince these two fools. So you want me to convince Kimi Abi? So you go to hide, you go to go, go to change oil, Abi. You know where? That's not what I'm saying. Sleeping. What are you saying then? Good. Good. What I'm trying to say is that for the fact that we all have come up with age, hmm? we, if we want to toast girls, ladies, women, eh? let us go for the responsible ones, decent ones, good, good girls that from home, my guys from girls with no prostitutes. Those people will make you lose your mind. What? Mr. Holly, Sean. Oh God, brother! I have had you. Now, tell me, how can we get those decent ladies? That's the question. You see, David, you are very stupid. Now, you are very stupid. The first thing I'm not going to hold you. I'm not holding. I'm trying to put common sense into your head. They are calling me Mr. Holy. Listen, all you need to do is to stop going to that joint, stop going to those prostitute houses, and they will sit back, watch you. Watch me through my thing. You will see. Steve-O! Sean! Steve-O! I have heard you. See, from today, 
Help me out. I will not be with you anymore. See, eh? See, it's the book. Honestly, if you can promise us that this is the yours, you give out to us. I will never go there again. Now we are talking. Now, my guy, see this person. Eh? Uh, what about you? Talk now. So you feel you can leave service this room. Me, Philip, I will not listen to you until you bring a replacement for Angela. I will not leave her. Let me remind you, but let me tell you. I will visit Angela in the morning. From my house, I will go to Angela's house, the hotel. I will from there come to work. I will leave work and go and see her in the hotel room again and come back to the office. From the office, I will sleep in her house. Then I will not come to the work the next day. I will not leave that girl until you bring a better replacement. Finish, shut up. This is going to bring us bad luck. Finish, shut up. I told you. Do, do you know that you are disgrace to man? Are. Which man? Are you a man? Hey. If in fact you are, you are disgrace to this gathering. Hey, hey, shut up. Hey. Eventually, if you die tomorrow now, you carry all those prostitutes, carry them for your bearer. Bam. If I die. See, let me remind you, if I die, if you're bringing those girls to my grave, don't miss Angela. Bring the Angela, the one that has a very big breath. Put her into my grave, I'll be happy. <laughs> maybe, maybe Oga will marry my wife. Philip! Before he said Oga does not need to marry wife for him. So he has refused to Oh my god. Since when you begin change oil, we begin change oil. Never begin fine. When you come from village, you be like, you be like, you move. Set up. Set up. Set up. Honey, you remember you said Steve was going to stay only six months? Yes, I said so. Any problem with that? Are you aware he has stayed eight months? How does that affect you? Did he complain to you? He's not complaining, but I'm not comfortable the way he has been ignored. Oh, God. Rachel, when did Steve make you his spokesman? When you asked me to be his mom, what did you have in mind? Oh, to turn around and antagonize me? Because I asked you to be his mom? Honey, whenever I'm asked to do a job, I do it very well. Oh, really? Oh, well, I asked you to be his mother, isn't it? Then I'm asking you to stop being his mother. What? Leave me alone. I should leave you alone? You heard me loud and clear. Leave me alone. Settle him, right? Why won't I settle him? Is he not my brother? Afterwards, as he came in here, my business have taken a turn for the better. Obviously, someday I'm going to settle him. But if I'm going to settle him in a rush, just like you want me to, even you will miss him. You will. What are you saying? I don't understand. Well, if you must know, I'm thinking of extending his service to me by two years. After which, he becomes a partner in the company. Uh, no, no, no. I don't like the sound of it at all. No. Honey, you are beginning to sound like some of these masters who don't like settling their boys after serving them. Do you know the, do you know the value of Denko Brothers Limited? Yes, I do. No, you don't. No, I do. Because if you do, you will know that partnership is this big deal. If I give Steve partnership in Denko Brothers Limited, it's a big deal. I don't care. I don't care one bit. All I want you to do is set him up, let him be a man of his own. That's all. Ah, what is this? Company is my company. The Steve is my brother. How does it affect you? You now take want to take decisions for me? Just set him up. Hey. Mm. 
Nani wazuko kwenye Almost one year now since that lunatic took us for your ride. Who? That uh, is, is a debut, of course. Huh. You have started again. Now, why will I not start again? Eh? When there is a snake, a very personal snake on the touch roof, how can you sleep soundly on that such roof? I said that your proof. I'll go straight to the point. Listen. I was told that my brother, Dennis, has gone richer. Ah, richer. Oh! <laughs> you rejoice, right? Oh! Rejoice, Gunny. How can I rejoice? Is he not the one that is paying your children's school fees? Who told you that? How did you know that? I think I don't know. Was it that your uh, retirement benefits? How much was it? Or oh, that uh, hunting, uh, that fetching uh, you the money for your children's school fees? How many grass cutters do you cut in a month? Ah. Well, all I know is that I cannot sit down here and watch them take what rightfully belongs to me. Hmm? I cannot be watching like that. But your brother Dennis has no child. You have killed them all. Yes, but he might decide to, to adopt now. Adopt? Yes. Ah, you don't take that risk. You know our elders, they, they, they can change their voices whenever they see a bottle of snap. So you know what to do now. Snap. Well, well, all, all I know is, I cannot sit down here and watch Dennis and the student will take over my property. That thing is rightfully belongs to me. I am the first son of Resident Evil. I am here for you. Oh, God. Oh. All right. It's a small case. I, I didn't I did, I did show you the, uh, this stuff. Uh, this one is a special one. No, no, I'll pass on that one. I'll pass on that. You keep putting that black thing in your brain. That, that's why they were able to deceive you easily. I think you will blacken your brain, don't you that? Ah, uh, you are talking as if you don't know about this. This is a, you, that is, this one comes from England. Muntada. I don't know, I America. I can't put that black thing in my head. I can think straight, nobody will take me for a ride. I have decided to make you happy. How do you mean? I'm going to settle Stephen. Oh, you have? Oh my God, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, my husband. I'm so happy. Now you are talking. So sorry about the way I've talked to you over this issue in the past. I'm so sorry about it, okay? Hmm? Okay, tell me, how do you intend doing that? I'm sending him to Abuja. Abuja? I've secured a shop there for him. You've secured a shop over there in Abuja? Yes, you see, the both of us cannot be here. I want him to be in Abuja while I remain here. So I can coordinate the two cities. Him there and me here. 
Okay, so tell me, what about the money aspect of it? How do you intend doing it? I'm going to start him up with goods worth five million naira. Honey, why not give him the cash so that he will go and do that on his own? And why five million naira? Rachel. Yes. Is there more to this than what I know? More to what? You know what I'm talking about. I'm ashamed of you, Dennis. What is your problem? After all the assistance your brother gave to you, you want to give him just five million naira? Too bad. Who are you keeping all those bodies for? Eh? When you go? Who are you keeping the body for? Since you won't have your own flesh and blood. Your own blood, Dennis! What is five million naira? What, what is five million naira? Thank you so much. You're welcome. I want you to open an account with that money when you get to Abuja. Study the terrain very well before you choose the line of trade to go into and then invest the money. 10 million Nara. <laughs> this is like a dream. When you're good, good things will always come your way. Thank you. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Brother, I promise to both of you that I will do everything within my power and remain grateful to the both of you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Well, but uh, first and foremost, if you really want to make us happy, I want you to make judicious use of that money. Oh, brother, trust me, I will make more than judicious use out of this money. I promise you. Oh. I'm glad. Mom, I know that you're going to have your own son very soon. Very soon. But I want to make a promise to you. I want to promise you that I will forever remain your real son. Okay. <laughs> Stay with me. Thank you. Yes, mom. Thank you. Thank you, mom. Yeah. Brother, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse thank me. Thank you, honey. Thank you very much. It's okay. Okay. I just pray that you're able to make good use of the money. He will. He will. He's a good boy. And then always remember where he's coming from. He will. Like promise. Okay, here. Yeah. This is for you. Take. <laughs> Brother, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I want you to open an account with that money. When you get to Abuja, study the terrain very well before you choose the line of trade to go into and then invest the money. 10 million Nara. <laughs> this is like a dream. When you're good, good things will always come your way. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. Thank you so much, brother. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Brother, I promise to both of you that I will do everything within my power and remain grateful to the both of you. You're welcome. 
Thank you so much. Well, but uh, first and foremost, if you really want to make us happy, I want you to make judicious use of that money. Oh, brother, trust me. I will make more than judicious use out of this money. I promise you. Mom, I know that you're going to have your own son very soon. Very soon. But I want to make a promise to you. I want to promise you that I will forever remain your real son. <laughs> Stay with me. Stay with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. This promise of God too. So why are we talking about the Church of Satan? Church of Satan is a different ball game. It is called Illuminati. Mystery hidden from man since creation, which is revealed to us in this age. Can I have a better explanation to this Church of Satan? <laughs> Steve. This is the greatest revelation that has happened to man in all times. Besides, you need it in your line of business. Your money will have no end, and you will be above human destruction. <laughs> Could it be exactly the way Mr. Watson and Eric said it? I've always wanted protection. I've always wanted to prove to my family. Is this the answer to my prayers? Would this be the tonic I need to scare my wicked brother DK? And to bring solace to my beloved brother Dennis? Would this be the solution to all this?
I summoned you here as directed by Lucifer, the god of the money and the supreme head of Illuminati, Church of Satan. You are chosen today as a special agent to Illuminati, Church of Satan. Henceforth, you will have an inner sanctum in your house where you worship him every day. Lift up your candle and repeat after me three times. Lucifer, son of the money and prince of cash. Lucifer, son of the money, prince of cash. Lucifer, god of the money and prince of cash. Lucifer, son of the money and prince of cash. Lucifer, God of the Money and Prince of Cash. Lucifer, Son of the Money and Prince of Cash. You are welcome to the family of Illuminati, the Prince of Cash and Church of Satan. You are now a member of this family and I expect your loyalty to Lucifer at all times. Drop your candle. Lucifer, God of the Money and Prince of Cash. Lucifer, God of the Money and Prince of Cash. Lucifer, God of the Money and Prince of Cash.
Uh, or would you prefer cash? Cash. Mm-hmm. Cash. Good. Cash? Mm-hmm. Right. No problem. Jack. Yes, I want you to arrange one million to the room and another one million into Rosie's account. Is that clear? As quickly as possible. <laughs> it's the best. You're welcome. You know I am double money. money. Yes. So everything mm. comes in double. Mm. Stay with me. I'll give you double. Mm. <laughs> this girl you're asking for trouble. Sambala, sambala, ha ha, sambala, haya. Sambala, sambala, ha ha, sambala. Sambala, sambala, ha ha, sambala, haya. Oh, oh, Stevie! Oh my God, Stevie! Oh, look at you! Oh, look at you! You are heavy. <laughs> That's the look. Look good. Let's give the master praise. Oh my God! Oh my God! Yes. Yes. Praise you. Yes, yes. Thank Let's you for my life to see praise. this day. Oh ah. God! I remember you said it <laughs> that you were going to make judicious use of the money I was giving to you. Obviously, obviously. <laughs> Indeed, you have. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you so Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. But let me ask you: Don't you think the value of uh, those cars? Uh, almost the same with the amount of money I gave you the sub business with. You should have gone for something smaller. And then those heavy looking men are they necessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a long story, it's a very long story, brother Dennis. But those guys out there, they're my bodyguards. Bodyguards? <laughs> yes. You don't have bodyguards? Yes. <laughs> Come on, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Tell me this or break it, cut it short. No, 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 I'm not going to sit down. Until I say this, your prophecy has come to pass. Oh yes, oh yes. Ah, I remember you said it. Isn't that, isn't that, no. <laughs> Thank you, my son. Wow, you are looking great. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Wow. I'm happy you're my life to see this thing. God, you're wonderful. So cut the story. Cut the story short. Um. Well, like I said, it's a long story. <clears throat> Brother Dennis, I've come to let you know that I want to go to the village tomorrow. For what? I want to meet with DK and tell him that we are coming to share our father's property. Oh no, oh no, oh no, Stephen. Stephen, hold it right there. You will do no such stupid thing. Not one of my life. Why not, Brother Dennis? You see, because when a child refuses to ask after what killed the father, what killed the father would eventually turn around to kill the child. Brother Dennis, haven't I come of age? No, you haven't. Stephen, you haven't. I can't believe this, Brother I can't believe you. What do you mean you can't believe this? No, I, I, I really didn't mean it this way. I, it's just that I, I don't want to take things your way. But from the look of things, uh, we're already handling things my way. Or we're going to do it. Brother Dennis, please, grant me the permission that I will go to the village tomorrow. And I promise you nothing will happen to me.
Okay. But if you must go to the village, you have to promise me, you have to make me a firm promise here and now that you will never ever eat anything offered to you by the game. Exactly. <laughs> of course. <Yes. laughs> Brother Dennis, of course, we will not even get to that point. You never can say with DK anything is possible. But Brother Dennis, I promise you I will not accept nothing from DK till I leave that village. Now we're talking. <laughs> Mark Love, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. So, so happy. Thank you so much. That's your little brother, my little brother. I'm so happy. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, beautiful angels. 
Jarinya kurang dicoba. Gabeng, gabeng ni kuat. Hmm. Ya, macam apa ini macam ni kuat? Sweet. Yo ah, sweet. Well, well. Yes, yes. Hmm. So, how was the party yesterday? Right, it was fine. Yeah. I hope it was okay. You enjoyed yourselves? Yes, oh, uh, uh, you enjoyed yourselves? I'll be the Nikki Sokira. Yo, This is. Real food. Lucifer, hell the prince of the world, hell the prince of wealth, money, <laughs> hell the god of the world. No, Hanaji, I have one here. You care for one? Where did 
you learn this your wonderful dancing step? <laughs> Elijah, I, I learned it right from when I was small. I, I, I was going to clubs and I used to dance for people. Both of them dead. What you want? Akuda, I have journeyed day and night to get to you. Of course, that's what I want. That's why I've come this far to, to seek you. <laughs> Are you very sure that's exactly what you want? Akuda, Biko, help me. I want them dead.
Steve. Ezekiel, how did you just call me? I called you Steve. Steve. Ezekiel, are we mates? Hmm? And listen to me, Kotsev demands that you call me Brother Steve and not Steve. And this should be the very first and the last time you call me by my first name. Do you understand me? At the side. Go and fetch me your father. What are you doing here? That's supposed to be a question to me. And why do you want to see my father? You outcast. You out of your mind? You called me an out outcast? Yes. Don't mind him, just sit down. Quick, sir, bring me the power in my bedroom. Quick. You're welcome. You're welcome. I see, yes, you are the entourage and everything as you're back in there. And don't listen to this small boy. He hmm? doesn't know what he's saying. How is the city? Where's the power in? I've not seen a brother in a long time. We will drink one glass. So, how is your business? Business is fine. Good. 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 Tradition says, he who pop and wine drinks out of it first. <laughs> If you must go to the village, you have to promise me, you have to make me a firm promise here and now that you will never ever eat anything offered to you by the gay. Exactly. <laughs> of <Yes>. course. <laughs> Brother Dennis, of course, we will not even get to that point. You never can say, would DK anything is possible? But Brother Dennis, I promise you, I will not accept nothing from DK. Stephen, have a drink. No, no, thanks. Thank you so much, brother Tiki. Uh -uh. Drink. No, uh, I'm sorry. It's my doctor pre prescription. What happened? How, do I, how else do I welcome you home? Well, uh, my doctor actually advised me not to take. I'm wine. Which doctor? Um, that's why I'm trying to keep up. Uh, look, it's a very good one. <laughs> so, <clears throat> well, uh, Brother DK, like I said earlier, I, I'm here because of Papa's properties. Mm -hmm. You have? Yes. I. I want my own share of Papa's property. Yeah, you, you do? Yes. You see, I actually want to start my constructions of building my house and maybe a small company here in this village. And that's why I want my own share of Papa's property so I can know where to start from. Oh, oh that, 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 this is not a problem. Who we'll ask you not to come and build your house in the village? Or even build our other businesses for that matter. It is alright. Thank you so much, Brother Tiki. 
Thank you so much. So, Brother DK, <coughs> when would I be? When? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, whenever Dennis comes. And so we can settle this once and for all. Mm. Yes. So if Brother Dennis does not come, means we can't do anything. Ah, you sure that's not. You know that uh, if he comes now, we'll do this once and for all. There's no need for any any more fighting or quarreling. I said this was a for all. Hmm? Okay. Thank you. How did you get to know this place? All thanks to the cabman. Oh, the cabman, I'm telling you. I see, I can see you now getting to know my village more than I'm I do. I'm so happy. Anyway, I'm oh, God, I'm so, so happy. Are you I sure? love this place. I'm serious. You're having fun. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. I'm glad you're having fun. But you know what? What? I seriously need a man. Not just a man. A rich man. I say don't worry. You will soon get it. Okay? I can't wait. Shall we? Lead the way. Thank you. So? Ah, oh, before I forget. Do you call that guy? Oh, oh. Which guy? I'm talking yeah, about a rich guy. guy. I need a rich guy. Yeah, excuse me. Yes. Yeah, excuse me. Look at this old man. <laughs> Is he talking to you? I wouldn't know. Ladies, excuse me now. Let's just hear him out. Let's hear him out. Are you ladies from this hour? Good evening, old man. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. What are you doing in this our uh, local uh, guest house? My friend is lodged here and I'm visiting here. Oh, you are a friend? Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening, you're lodged here. Yeah, I lodged here. Very good, very good. You have a very good town here. Uh, can, can I talk to you? You like yes. to talk to me? Yes, you. Yes. <coughs> Let's go. Okay? Ah, it's okay, darling. Just give me five minutes, okay? You want to talk with him? Just five minutes. You will then. You can spend the whole day. I'm in my room. So whenever you're done, meet me up there in my room, okay? Just trust me on this. I'll be okay. right there. Alright. Bye. See you in my room. Yeah, old man, what is it you want to talk about? Yes, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> so, who is your father at this point? Late Colonel Madu. Colonel Madu? Ah, that's a big name, oh. I can say that again. Eh, uh, see? Then you deserve this big thing I want to give you. Because if I were younger, I would have rented a big truck and take your bride price to Konemadu. <laughs> Excuse me, is that why you called me here? Uh, no, no, no. But my brother is young and is a very fine man and he has plenty of money. Your brother is rich? And I want both of you to be like this. Um, so, why, why, why did you choose me? You are a fine woman. I want my brother with his money to have a good woman like you. You said your brother is rich, huh? And he has plenty of money. But there, there, there's a the small thing you do for me. Oh. Mm, if I introduce you to my brother, there's one small thing you also do to do for me. And what could that be? Uh, um, you see, my brother is so rich he's stupid. How can you say your brother is stupid? Not stupid like that. My brother has so much money, it has made him stupid. Oh, is that what you meant? You can what? count on me, I'm huh? game, dear. So what is it? Uh, <laughs> Hi, handsome. Hi, beautiful. I 
hope you don't mind me to join your table. Of course I don't mind. Please do have a seat. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you very much once again. Um, let me apologize for my boy's attitude towards you right now, okay? It's okay. He's actually my bodyguard. It's not a problem. So, if I may ask, what is your name? I'm Anne. Anne. And Anne. you? I'm Steven. Ah, oh, Steven. Yeah. I think I prefer Steve. Steve? Yeah. That's how my friends called me. Yeah, that goes well. Yeah, the pleasure is mine. Oh, please, um, would you like to eat or drink something? Um, I don't feel like eating, but I wouldn't mind a drink. Bruno? Yes, boss. Get the waiter. So, I hope you enjoy your meal. Tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning. We're leaving together to Abuja first thing in the morning. Abuja? Yes. I took you cook out of me. Okay. Be very careful with this. I will. I will. Remember everything I told you. You should trust me, okay? Of course I did the first one and it was perfect. Don't worry. You enjoy me. <laughs> you know what? I have to get going right now. You know, I wouldn't want him to get back home before me. So I have to leave. Oh, 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 oh. I'll see you. Uh -huh. That's container that I want you to get from Clems. Did you get it? Go to Clems office. Tell him that I say Steve. I've said that you should collect the container. Oh, that's arrived. Good, good, good. good. That's very, that's very, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You just go there and tell him that I say you should pick it up, okay? All right, okay. Let's talk, I'll talk to him. You see what I said? What? Good news are here. Oh, that's a good news. Uh, that is a very good news. Very yeah. good news. Meaning that very soon you're going to have your own car. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> 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 I really appreciate everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to, yeah, obviously, you're beautiful. You're not just beautiful, but also sexy, you know? I'm sexy, sexy and I know. And you don't you need to tell me, baby. all the quality. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. you. <laughs> I hope you meant all this. Are you not gonna leave me someday? No, I don't have reason to do that. <laughs> Thank you so much, my love. <laughs>
Come to the right kitchen, okay? Sweetie, I can't wait any longer. I can't. I can't wait to win you 100 percent in love with my delicious meal. Mm. You know what? Make yourself comfortable. Help yourself with the TV, and I'll be out some with your food, okay? Yes, it is Mm. Ah. But I told you, 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, no rice. Very rice. Like you said. So now tell me, have I won your hundred percent love? Hundred and twenty percent. Huh? <laughs> You're very funny. Hundred and twenty percent. I haven't heard of that before. You no. Know, I never imagined that. I was going to come home and see such a delicious meal. Mm. It's okay, baby. You're gonna get the one that is more delicious than this, okay? Mm -mm. Tomorrow afternoon, your lunch. Oh. I know, I know. I believe you. Tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you, you do like the food. <laughs> See my wife. Oh, congratulations. You're indeed a lucky man. What? She's put to bed. A bouncing baby boy. My wife is put to bed? No other? Please! Hurry! <laughs> yeah. Making money is the essence of life. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. I'm ready to appreciate it. I'd like to talk to you later, okay? Sure. Hey, Johnson. Good. Did you get the consignment? Very good, very good. In my office. Two hours. Son of the morning. I worship you. The essentiary blood. Brotherhood must be kept intact at all costs. You must exhibit wickedness to those you hold most dear to your heart. Show them no mercy. No mercy at all. Let no money of yours be useful to them. You must not yield to their temptations. Be warned. Else, the consequences are devastating. Be warned.
a bouncing baby boy. Who are you and who do you want to talk to? Steve? Is that on Steve? Who is Steven? Steve, this is this is Dennis, your brother. It's me. And so what? Steven. Oh, I'm sorry. It better be. Baby, listen to this. Praise God. Your mom has just delivered a bouncing baby boy. Who is mom? So you don't mind that woman. She wants to reap what she did not sow. Like she's just out of it. Why would she want to take another woman's son for her own son? That's to make you lose your guard, of course. She must be dreaming. She better be. I'm deleting this number right away. Not to only delete You're this not... number. What I want you to do is, is to get me another SIM card straight away. You don't need to stress yourself over it because I have another SIM in this house. A new SIM. I'll be right back. Please do, please do, please do. Really, you really do have it? Wow. Sweetie, this is good. Do you like it? <laughs> I like it. I really <laughs> thank you so much, baby. Thank you, you so much. Her. I really like this. It's good. No more disturbance, man. Old folks and all those crazy people. <laughs> well, your phone is better than this, you know. No, no, no. I like this. I like this. This is fine. Oh, yeah? Okay. No more disturbance, like I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 like, seriously? Okay, I'll have your phone then. No problem, you can have it. So you can take two the same and we don't yeah. need to talk to anybody anymore. <laughs> <laughs>
temptation comes once in a while in somebody's life. This is more than temptation, Richard. It is more than temptation. I want you to relax. Everything will be fine. I should relax, okay? I should relax. I have heard stories. Plenty of stories. Stories of male children. How they come with hard times. But this one is over the board. What are you saying? Are you saying that she goes here? Don't misunderstand me, all. Please. Quote me right. All I am saying is that I cannot understand why and how my two shops were cut down by fire, raised down by fire at the same time. And then all my cars, my best of cars, snatched by arm rubber. Arm rubbers, even the small 2K2K, the small one I've been managing, arm rubber still saw it and took it away. Worst case, the last time I called for my statement of account from the bank, 50 million naira intact. How I withdrew and withdrew and withdrew, and the things I spent those monies doing is what I cannot say till today. Now, the remaining part of the gutted down shops in front of it, we said, okay, fine. Let us bring out the remaining goods and put in front of that place and see if we can make sales. Sell something. Four months now, nobody has come to ask how much. Oh. This is too much. Oh, honey, please, please don't do this. You're breaking my heart. Heart. Please, please don't do that. I want you to remember Job. No, don't talk to me about Job. If only Job and I can swap names, let Job be Dennis and be Job. Job will not survive it. No. He will die. No, don't, don't talk like this. Oh. I want you to see God. I want you to see God in the midst of all this trouble. God will always be there for you and me. Oh God. Imokwanya. <laughs> This evening, not quite long. Ah, oh, that's good. Very good. So, how is my brother and your father? Very fine. Fine. He sent his greetings. Oh, okay, good. That's good. Good. Sweetie! That's not my <laughs> Honey! Yes, love? Oh, baby, you're back. Yes, I'm back. How are you? You're welcome. Sweet. Mm. How was your day? Wonderful, wonderful. That's good. And your baby is good too. Um, sweetie, did you give Ezekiel here something to eat? Oh, come on, baby. Does that mean you don't trust me anymore? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> oh, a lot of food to eat and drink. Uncle, I must tell you, you have a beautiful, loving, caring, and a kind wife. No wonder you're looking good. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's all good. <laughs> oh, please, just make yourself comfortable. I'll be with you in a minute, all right? Thank you, Mr. Kill. Thank you very much. Wow.
Steve's continuous silence is beginning to bother me. I think about it every other day. I cannot believe that since you put to bed six months now, not a word from him. First, I was angry, but my anger is beginning to turn into worry. Worried about what? That all might not be well with him. So, what are you going to do? I'm thinking maybe. I should send David to Abuja to find out what is really the problem. That's a very good idea. It's okay. Would have done that long ago. How is Chigo's here? <laughs> Why are you crying? What's the matter? The world is gradually crumbling. Richard, please don't start. Please. Alright? Please. Why is everything working this way? Why? What have we done? Richard, please let me deal with this situation now. Steve's, Steve's silence is enough worry for me. Please. Don't add to this. God is already in control about our situation. Please, I beg you. Oh, what are you doing here? Aren't you happy seeing me? Oh, you are now God that I should see you and start rejoicing, right? You must be out of your mind. But you once told us any of us could visit you anytime or could come to you anytime. Steve, see levels. You see, I have been lucky, very lucky. But I must say this, there are other things beyond luck in this world. But I won't say it here now. Until you guys have finished your years served with my brother, Dennis. All I can say for now is um, just be good. Be very good, all of you. Meanwhile, I have packages for each and every one of you. Something that you all will benefit from. Right? Steve, you have packages for us? Uh, see, Steve, I need a car. I need a jeep. Steve, don't harm it. Steve, don't change. Your voice don't change. Tell you, talk calmly like rich man. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Come on, come on. You know, let this guy do yourself. You know, behave yourself. Philip, you have started again. You have started again. Mind you. Come on, shut up. See this Palmaita Pacabi, the guy who compared Steve in the rich boy cap. You have started again. Idiot. You have started again. Steve, oh. uh, don't mind this fool. And uh, thank you for the sweet weekend you have given to us. This is the best weekend there is in our life. Uh, see those guests you brought from Asurok, uh, uh, was the those hotels you mentioned. This is what I like best. See, this weekend is the best weekend we have ever rocked in our life. Mm. See all the Abuja people. You don't want to know. You bring the come from Senator. Mm -hmm. You bring the come from my country. Ah, Steve! Hey, Philip, you know why I enjoy pass? Mm. Those three girls were in Kai Kung yesterday for that uh, hotel. Boy, hey, hey, hey. let's go. Oh, you know, you're telling my mom. 
When did I say that? You remember the day you took us to the bar? My young man, say what you want to say and get the head out of here. Anyway, Oga sent me. Your Oga sent you to do what? First of all, to, to know why you have not communicated for, for six months now. And also to, know, to tell you things have turned, I mean, things is hard on us. Okay, so you are telling me these things now because I'm God. Hmm? I know how to turn things around and make things soft for you guys, right? Hmm? Auntie said... Uh... Shut up! Honey! Honey! Yes, love? Yes, baby. Get me a few cash in there. All right. Good. You are leaving this place right away. Oh, please. I don't know anywhere in Abuja. And how did you locate my house? The Thais man. The taxi man who brought you here will take you to whatever place you're coming from. Steven! Here, baby. Here. Okay. Welcome. Take this. This should be sufficient to take you to whatever place you're coming from. Okay? 3,000... Leave him! Get lost! Get out of the house! Uh, listen to me. And make sure you tell them your ogre to stop boarding my life. Tell him this should be the very first and the last time he ever bought my life. Do you understand me? Now get out. Get out of my house! You should leave our house! Idiot. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> do, you do you know that the, 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 the stupid do this? They are stopped paying my children's school fees. No man, I'm a man. Hmm? But DK. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a check of one million naira and that check is for your welfare and that of your children one million one million naira uh -huh. there is something i've been meaning to tell you hmm? you see that bicycle out there that your old bicycle right, right. please please give it out give it out when i get to the city i'll put in for a brand new car for you huh? for me mm -hmm. Brand new car for you. Brother DK, any man who has a strong brother like, like you, and that man is not willing to give you everything you need, that man is an idiot. He's a very stupid man. Who let you know that? Ha! Hey, Chukwe! Chukwe! Stay back. So it is true. What's true? That this monster has finally cornered you. No monster cornered me. No monster. The truth is, I can see clearly now. My eyes are open, I can see clearly. And if there is any monster in this mist, while we are talking, that monster should be you. Me. Yes, you. Yes. Still me. After all I did. Oh, exactly. After all you have done to turn him against me, his good brother, who loves him so dearly. Dike, but see, he's wiser now. He's now wiser. Dike. I thought you call him an outcast. What? Dennis! Hey, hey. Did you just call me an outcast? Uh, see, <laughs> see. I just don't want to cause trouble. That's why I didn't tell you. That's why he calls you behind your back. Huh? But yes! God, I just exposed him today. You called him. Dicky. Call on God. You, Dicky. Anyhow, Stephen. When I was told you came to the village, I didn't believe it. I had to come see for myself. To see what for yourself? David actually told me how you maltreated him in Abuja. But I did not believe him. David is an idiot. All I can see now, that boy was telling me the truth. Listen, Stephen. This is going to be my last word to you. Should anything happen to you while you're in this village, you are on your own. That's all I have to say. I'm leaving. Nothing will happen to you. Nothing can happen to you. This Don't mind this first Nothing. Man. The man is broke. He's out of money. Huh? Nothing will happen. As, you, as you look at me, I don't like trouble. That's what I'm going to tell you. He calls you all kind of name. Oh, it's okay that you are telling me. It's okay. That's why we are together. Our blood is stronger than his. Oh. This is a very wicked man. I'm a very plain man.
unbelievable how Tiki has bewitched Stephen. It's what? Who am I supposed to know? I don't know. Maybe Stephen had wanted to act the way he's acting. You know, money changes people. But, but that is true. But he never showed those traits when he was with us. He never did. He was just a good boy. People change. Oh, you're correct there. You know, you're very correct. People change. Mr. Albert. Yes. I'll be waiting for you in the office. But that laundry man is making me crazy, man. For over two days now, we gave him a clue. He keeps telling me, hey, Madam, you got ready tomorrow. But if I catch that <laughs> man. That motherfucker. Like you're born a jackpot or something. But are you what crazy? Else? Are you stupid or something? More than a jackpot. Cool gone millionaire chilling, resting in my account. Hmm? Don't mind that. This is one of our jokes. You know, you know you're joking about Yeah. yeah. Right. He's joking. Why don't both of you go in? Get dressed. Go to our joint. Anything both of you take on my head. This girl is fucking serious. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let serious. me get this now, now you're getting serious, you know. One. Hey! You see, I just said you're joking. Try me. One end. I'm waiting. Shh. I'm going to wear. Okay. The new gown bought. Like. You see, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it for you. I'm waiting. I've not had a mad phone like this. Oh, this God. is fun, man. No. I bet you should talk. Mm. First, you know, I've been wanting to ask you something. Like, did you make it? Like, who's this your mugu? Interesting question. Kyo, okay, come on. All you just need to know is that the guy is in mad money. As in, he's swimming in money. That's just all. Or you money. Well, that's the point. But the question now is, how am I going to meet this maga that is swimming in money? Because I need money for my tuition. No, 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 excuse me. We. I need money, not us. I, sorry, not us. I. You. You. Just a decision fee. Relax. Oh, smoke is. Mm -hmm. Sorry. She has money. Oh, my God. I hate you. Wait, wait, wait. You said she lacks. I'll sit to that. Trust me. You know you are a joker, huh? So you, you guys are not, have not forgotten me, oh, right? You're serious. You're Count on your girl, girl. You're serious. Come on! Yeah. But seriously, you need to talk to me! Just give me! You deserve a man!
Hey, yeah. I'm good, and you? Fine. I was actually going shopping. So I said, let me just come by and see. Mm. Shopping? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, baby. <laughs> I'm fine, and you? Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Of course, I will. Okay, baby. Thank you. Love you too, baby. <laughs> yeah, Nelly, you know. Actually, I want to get rid of my old stuff. So I want to change my wardrobe into things in vogue. I don't mind. You can join me. Oh, Pick one or two things for yourself. Mm. Or me. Sure. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Let me give myself permission to use your restroom. Why not? You know, you're part of the house already. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm ready. You know, I admire this back so much. Serious? Yeah. That's no problem. You can have it once you come back. Really? Oh, yeah. thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, you know what? I think I have to go change, you know. Okay, hurry up because my okay. guy is waiting. Okay, thank you. Is there nothing else we can do besides surgery? How many times will I tell you this? And how much did you say the deposit is? Half a million. Five hundred thousand naira. Or we will not take her into the theater for any surgery. Doctor. Under normal circumstances, before now, 500,000 is no money to me. But my businesses have all collapsed, crumbled. And all the people I helped in the past, I have been to, to lend me at least, no matter how much, how small, I was all turned down. This woman is all that I have. Everything I have is this woman. Doctor, please save her for me. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Save her for me. It's a pity. The only way out is to take her into the theater for surgery in the next two weeks. And this would not be possible without the deposit. I'm sorry. There is no way we can do that. Mm. Mm. Hey, God. God. Did I do anything wrong serving you? God, please do not let anything happen to her, please. God. I beg of you, God. Hey. Hey. Tell me, why do you prefer Abba? Steve, you know I've been in this business for years. 
And when it comes to textile business, I will tell you that Appa is the best place for it. Okay. All right. Problem. You know what? As you're leaving this place, I'll give you a check of two million naira. Steve, you mean you will give me two million naira? Oh, come on. What are friends for? It's nothing. Thank you. Honestly, you're the best pal there is. I'm so grateful. Thank you once again. It's all right. It's not the best. Uh huh. Come. Reminds me. Do you still. Do you still. change your oil? You mean. <laughs> <laughs> see, the kind of girls that I have now. If you see them. Just put in a call to them, tell them to meet us at our usual spot, okay? Let them come there. I'll put in for drinks, I'll put in for everything, okay? Don't worry, I will call them. Let's go, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go, go, go. <laughs> Who is that? Who is there? Open the gate! Come in, old man. There. Who are you? And what do you want here? My name is Dennis. I've come to see my brother Stephen Odimevo. My boss? Your brother? Yes. I'm Dennis Odimevo, Stephen Odimevo. Okay. What did you say your name was again? Dennis. Dennis Odimevo. Dennis. Oh, Anne. Hi, Uncle Dennis. <laughs> Good evening. How are you? I'm good. I didn't know you were coming. Well, I, I'm sorry. It just so happened. You know, I, I could have called, you know, to let you people know I'm coming. I want to say something. Please come in. And where do you think I'm going, my young man? Stephen. I asked you a simple question. Where do you think you're going? It's me, Dennis. Dennis Odimewu. I know it's you. Your older brother. Answer my question. Where are you going? I have come to see you. Can we go inside and talk? No, not in my house. Stephen, it's me, me, me. Dennis, Dennis. Eh? Listen, my young man. Whatever you came for, state it right here and right now. You call me a young man? Stephen. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, my my wife is seriously sick and dying in hospital. The doctors uh, say we need two hundred thousand to save our life. I've been everywhere looking for her. Brotherhood must be kept intact at all costs. You must exhibit wickedness. To those you hold most dear to your hearts. Show them no mercy. 
no mercy at all. Let no money of yours be useful to them. You must not yield to their temptation. Be warned. Else, the consequences are devastating. Hmm. All to no avail. So I decided to travel all the way to see you. That's my last hope. Please, can you help me with 200,000 to save our life? Very good efforts. Very good efforts. But listen to me, let me say this to you. Do I look like a bank? <sighs> Does this house look as if it's central bank? Don't you know where to go and raise money for your wife? If your wife is sick, it's your responsibility as a grown-up man. My wife here can't be sick and suddenly I turn into a beggar. It's not possible. Steven! I'm talking about Rachel, my wife, your mother, that donated her kidney to you when you were sick, dying. You're carrying two kidneys, and she has just one. And she's dying in hospital now, as you speak. And we need 200,000 to save her. Now let me make these two things clear to you, and I want you to get it in your thick skull very well. First thing is, she is not my mother. She was never my mother. And she will never be my mother. Not in this life. And the second thing is, I keep this. She did not give me a kidney. It was God, God Almighty, that saved my life and restored me that I stand on my feet here today. It was never your so-called wife or my so-called mother. Stephen. Listen to me, sweetie. Listen, my young man. If you don't have anything else to say, please leave this place right now. Do you understand, sweetie? Come on, sweetie. Steve, Steve, please. Hey. Dennis or whatever you're called. You heard my husband. I mean, I thought you came here for something serious. I never knew you are here to say all this rubbish. Just leave our house. And this is serious. Please help me beg your husband, please. Steve, you're the last over. There is no Yes? Just calm down. Bruno! Yes, boss. James! Bruno, this man out of this place. Take this man out of this place. No, 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 Get it out of, out of here. Stephen, you, you're carrying two kidneys, she has one. Somebody wants to eat to another to come to this house. Is this house with the central bank? Stephen, it's me. It's me. Me. Bro, you guys are I set that. you up. I set you up. I set you up. It's going. Listen, listen. Uh, now you two listen to me clearly. If I ever see that old heggy up man stepping leg in my compound or anywhere near my premises, you two are dead. Fired and dead. I make myself clear. Good. I hope you got that into your empty skulls. My young lady, what are you doing here? Stephen, it's me, your mother. My mother. Uh, point of correction. Let me make that clear to you. You are not my mother. You was never my mother in the first place. And you will never be my mother. Stephen, what has come over you? Get that into your head. You're talking to me like this? What has come over me? Stephen, I'm, I'm dying. So. What is your husband doing about it? Um, he was here the other day and I, I didn't understand what he was saying, so I decided to come and see you myself. Uh, it was very simple because I made him to understand that my house is not Central Bank. If he wants money to cater to his wife's treatment, he knows exactly where to go and get money, not my house. And you are here to my office. This is an office, this is not Central Bank. My young lady, please, I don't have money. I don't. Or do you want me to go and steal? Stephen, Stephen, it, it, it's me, your mother. Please, uh, you, you, you have to help me. Please, my young man, take this young woman out of this place right now. Stephen. And uh, darling, yes, please, uh, come to the house. Yeah, you're heading, okay? Please. Take this money for your transport, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Come to the office, all right? Mm -hmm. 
as lovely. <laughs> Stephen, please. I know you still remember me. You cannot forget everything I've done for you. I can't remember. What have you done? Stephen, you, you. Look, Bruno, open the car. This woman is not an Please, 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 thank you. Oh! Must every one of you come to me for money? Do I have money to give you? What is the problem? I told you I don't have money. If you have problem with yourself, go to the hospital, treat yourself. You have a, your husband is alive. Why can't you go and treat you? What is the freaking man? Come here to my mother. Jesus! Oh, if I want to see you near my office, near you know, my house, But I, 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 I really... But what? Why are you blaming me all the time? Can't you see I'm dying? I'm dying. I'm, I'm dead already. Stop this. Stop what? Is it my fault? Oh no, it's not your fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. Hey. trying to tell me that you've got 500,000 naira just, just for a, a, a one night stand with a man? See babe, I got a number from Rose's phone. Jesus! Oh! Yes! For Christ's sake, I'm telling you because you're my close friend. See, this guy swims in money. He doesn't have anything to do with his money again. So we have to spend it for him. Okay, I would want you to go answer the guy. Uh, how? I don't understand. I, uh, I should just wake up one day, carry my bag, and go to see him or something? I've, 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 how? I've really made a contact for you. It's so easy. I've told him about you, you know. So you could just go see him. You are you, 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 man. Come on. Just give him what he wants and you get what you want. That's it. That's the point. Give him what he wants and get what I want. Is that easy? See? You and I know that you have a financial problem. I've told this guy about you. I've got the contact for you. See, it's so easy. You just have to go see him. Huh? And let's not forget. Don't ever, ever let Rose know about this one. You know her now. If she ever does, we are dead. I cross my heart. I want to work better. Excuse me, I want to say to you, stupid girl, punish Good day, sir. Good day. And uh, who are you? Sir, my name is Joyce. The girl Nelly told you about. Joyce? Uh, yes. Um, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Mm. Excuse me. I always like music around me. <laughs>
Oh, you were great. Thank you. You know, I am going to shoot one million naira into your, your account. For real? Or would you prefer cash? Hey, I wouldn't mind, sir. You know I would not want to stress you, so cash would be better. Good. It will be here in five minutes. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, young Grace. Thanks. Thanks. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's nothing really. You are absolutely fantastic. I yes, so uh, yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, <sighs> you know what? Come, let's go inside the room. You deserve one more round. Uh, yeah, 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 little. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so what do you want? Now? Oh, um... The credit goes to you. Oh, you are a true friend. May God bless you, Pastor. Thank you, <laughs> Thank darling. you so much. Thank you. And um, you know, I've been wanting to ask you something. Did you by any chance discuss anything with Rose? Like she's been suspecting. Something like me. what? Why would I do that? Am I stupid? Like she's been suspecting us. The way she's been keeping it some worse to me. You know that girl is dangerous. My dear, that's no. mere suspicion, okay? She got no proof. She can't prove anything. So you don't have to be scared. And don't forget, say your chick, Nabini. She won't be a rich husband. I've been a learner. She's been a ninja. I've been a she's been a she didn't learn. No, but I let go. Like I promised you, your LV bag. Let's go get it. Mm, of Let's course, go get it. Don't give it to me. <laughs> let me Let's go get it. No time. What do you want? I need to talk to you. I need to talk seriously. Wait till you get better. Uh -uh, you don't understand. You cannot wait. What do you go? It cannot wait, please. You cannot wait. I am. Um, I went. I went to Abuja. Abuja, make us. Yes. Yes, I went to Abuja. What happened? I want to leave. <laughs> Are you absolutely certain? You want them killed? Huh. How could I? You know I've journeyed day and night to get to you. I travel across the mountains and across some seas. You know how many rivers I cross to get here? Uh -uh. They told me. They say your grandfather and great grandfather was death itself. And they say you have stepped into their shoes. I want them out of the way so I can be in complete control of my father's property. I want them dead. Please. <clears throat> Don't you think you can benefit more by completely controlling them? I can't control Dennis. That boy, he's it, it, stubborn. Neither can you eliminate them without you tying yourself. Me, me? Their spirits are too strong. The younger one is even more dangerous to eliminate. Now that he has joined the League of Satan himself. Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. However, there is only one way out. Which way? Akuda? Crippling the senior one financially is a lot easier. Hmm. Hmm. That, that's good too. Yes, it's useless. Yeah, that, that, that is good too. <laughs> Crippling. <laughs> I am Akuda. 
I inherited the palace from my forefathers. I was told. I was told. I can do it. Only if you will pay the price. So he gave me he gave me this concussion and with some pots uh, and, and live cock. I'm supposed to be doing this this sacrifice every seven market days. And I've been doing it. I've been doing it. Everything went perfect. Perfectly well. Until this stupid accident. Yeah, that's why I cannot do it now. Uh, that's why I say wet. And when you get better, you will continue. Ah, you don't understand. I must not miss anyone. I must not miss any single sacrifice. Hey, please. You know you are my friend. There is nothing I will do that I will not tell you. Please. Nothing I will not do for you. If you ask me. Please. Can you do the next sacrifice for me, please? Huh? Yes, please. <laughs> if you toil with God, I don't toil with them. You're my friend, oh please. Please, I must not miss it. Please, I will die. I will die if I don't do it, please. Please, you will carry your cross. <laughs> not for me. I can't carry it. you're my friend. You are my friend. We are good friends. Please. Don't, 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 don't let me go like this, please. We, please. Don't think will happen to you. Just, just do the sacrifice. Please. Please. I will need a if I don't, if I don't offer a sacrifice, I will die. Please, please. You want me to die? Yes, please. You will not die. Just see if I can walk. Please. If I can walk, I will do it. If I don't do it, I will die. Please, Wadim. Please. You are my friend. You are my friend. Please. The world is a stage. People change, but your automatic transformation for bad beats all imagination. I might die a death of poverty, but I know your brother will soon follow. And his own death, that's full of regret. You may never bother attending my funeral. Your being around will make me believe I am walking straight into hell. If you ever get another chance, don't kill anyone that loves you. Mom, where did you learn all these things? Well, I just learned. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't wait to eat the food. Mom, you just relax yourself. Let me get you, okay? Then you get to realize I'm a very good cook. All right, I'm waiting. <laughs> From it, Auntie, far from it. I do understand that my brother has good intentions, but what about me as an individual? Auntie, it's my future we're talking about here. Send him out without a driver. I mean, you, you don't have to blame yourself. But I what do you want me to do? Certain things could be averted. You know? Can you imagine me sending my brother to an early grave? God forbid! That's what happened to you. Nothing. You're not going to die. You're back. Mom, how are you? Fine. You're welcome. What is it? Mom, I'm hungry. You know what to do. Mom, what exactly are you saying? Just go to the kitchen and take your food. Um, you have food there?
If you ever get another chance, don't kill anyone that loves you. The love for money has taken away my joy and turned my happiness into mourning. My life is now a light smell. Oh, my life is now my life is now a light smell. Oh, my life is now a light smell. Now, Monique, Fedra Girls. Jeez. Monique. Monique, Fedra Girls. Oh my God, are you serious? How are you? I'm fine. You have really arrived. Ah, look at you. So, where are you working? Work? I'm, I'm not working. I'm still a student. I should be graduating, let's like, say, next year. You mean you're still a student? Oh, please. You know my flight should be next to us. Can we just go in so we'll do what we came here for? Oh, yes. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Karajiko, if you get home, take your shower, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. But you have to lie low for now because of all this noise that has been going around. What did I say? You have to lie very, very, very low for now. Karajiko, yes, shake it out. Thank you, sir. So gentlemen, yes, we have just seen it. A reward for a job well done. Two million. This is the beginning of your millions in life. These helmets, they will make you. Do you understand me? But listen very carefully. You only give out this helmet when you are in motion. Don't give it out when you are not in motion. Otherwise, it will not work. But when you are, once you are in motion, give it to your passenger and it works. But, sir, something just came to my head. What is it? Uh, what if any of our passengers 
refuse to use this helmet. Yes, sir. Yes. How, how no, do we persuade them? Listen, nobody will refuse to collect this helmet from you as far as you do what my brother has said. Jimana, yes, because I am going to make it work. Listen, I am going to give you charm that will make this very, very effective. Karajiko? Yes, sir. If you get your passenger, give it to him, and when he disappears, shake it, drive your Okada, go home, shower, come back to this place, and collect your two million naira. Two million. Two million. Two million. Two million. Two million. <laughs> Baba Kudi. <laughs> Baba Kudi. Yes. Uh, Two million. Two million. Check it out. You can go. Okay. We are <laughs> Are you absolutely certain you want them killed? How, how could I? So, you know, I've journeyed day and night to get to you. I travel across the mountains and across some seas. You know how many rivers I cross to get here? Uh -uh. They told me. He says your grandfather and great grandfather was death itself. And they say you have stepped into their shoes. I want them out of the way so I can be in complete control of my father's property. I want them dead. Please. <clears throat> Don't you think you can benefit more by completely controlling them? Control. I can't control Dennis. That boy. It is, it is stubborn. Neither can you eliminate them without you tying yourself. Me, me? Their spirits are too strong. The younger one is even more dangerous to eliminate. Now that he has joined the League of Satan himself. Stephen. Hmm. <laughs> Stephen. However, there is only one way out. Which way? Akuda? Crippling the senior one financially is a lot easier. Hmm. Hmm. That, that's good too. Yes, it's useless. Yeah, that, that, that is good too. <laughs> Crippling. <laughs> I am Akuda! I inherited the powers from my forefathers. I was told. I was told. I can do it. Only if you will pay the price. <laughs> so he gave me he gave me this concussion and with some pots and live cock. I'm supposed to be doing this this sacrifice every seven market days. And I've been doing it. I've been doing it. Everything went perfect. Perfectly well. Until this stupid accident. Yeah, that's why I cannot do it now. Uh, that's why I say wait. Uh, when you get better you will continue. Ah, you don't understand. I must not miss anyone. I must not miss any single sacrifice. Uh, Please, you know you are my friend. There is nothing I will do that I will not tell you. Please, nothing I will not do for you. If you ask me. Please, can you do the next sacrifice for me, please? Huh? Yes, please. If you toil with gods, I don't toil with them. 
You're my friend. Oh, please. Please, I must not miss it. Please, I will die. I will die if I don't do it. Please. Please, you will carry your cross. <laughs> not for me. I can't carry. Uwadebu. Uwadebu, you're my friend. You are my friend. We are good friends. Please. Don't, 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 don't let me go like this. Please. We, please. Don't think will happen to you. Just, just do the sacrifice. Please. Please. I would have been a Please. If I don't, if I don't offer a sacrifice, I will die. Please. Please. You want me to die? Master, please. You will not die. Just see if I can walk. Uwadebu, please. If I can walk, I will do it. If I don't do it, I will die. Please, Wadebu, please. You are my friend. You are my friend, please. The world is a stage. People change. But your automatic transformation for bad beats all imagination. I might die a death of poverty, but I know your brother will soon follow. And his own death, that's full of regret. You may never bother attending my funeral. Your being around will make me believe I am walking straight into hell. If you ever get another chance, don't kill anyone that loves you. Steven, Mom, where did you learn all these things? Well, I just learned. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't wait to eat the food. Mom, you just relax yourself. Let me get you, okay? Then you get to realize I'm a very good cook. All right. I'm waiting. <laughs> It, Auntie, far from it. I do understand that my brother has good intentions, but what about me as an individual? Auntie, it's my future we're talking about here. Send him out without a driver. I mean, you, you don't have to blame yourself. But I what you want me to do? Certain things could be averted. You know? Can you imagine me sending my brother to an early grave? God forbid! That's what happened to you. Nothing. You're not going to die. You're back. Mom, Mom how are you? Fine. You're welcome. What is it? Mom, I'm hungry. You know what to do. Mom, what exactly are you saying? Just go to the kitchen and take your food. Um, you have food there? If you ever get another chance, don't kill anyone that loves you. The love for money has taken away my joy and turned my happiness into mourning. My life is now a light smell. Oh, my life is now. My life 
is now a night's man. All my life is now a night's man. know you? It's me now, Monique. Federal Girls. Jeez. Monique. Monique Federal Girls. Oh my god, are you serious? How are you? I'm fine. You have really arrived. Ah, look at you. So, where are you working? Work? I'm, I'm not working. I'm still a student. I should be graduating, let's like, say, next year. You mean you're still a student? Oh, please. You know my flight should be next to us. Can we just go in so we'll do what we came here for? Oh, yes. Thank you. you have to join us. Yeah, sure. Your work. Job well done, my man. Um, this is two million naira as a reward to the job. Well done. Two million. Two million. Go home and begin to enjoy yourself. Kanaji go. If you get home. Take your shower, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. But you have to lie low for now because of all this noise that has been going around. What did I say? You have to lie very, very, very low for now. Karajiko? Yes, sir. Shake it out. Thank you, sir. So gentlemen, yes, we have just seen it. A reward for a job well done. Two million. This is the beginning of your millions in life. These helmets, they will make you. Do you understand me? But listen very carefully. You only give out this helmet when you are in motion. Don't give it out when you are not in motion. Otherwise, it will not work. But when you are, once you are in motion, give it to your passenger and it works. But, sir, something just came to my head. What, what is it? Uh, what if any of our passengers refuse to use this helmet? Yes, sir. I, I, how, how do we persuade them? Listen. Nobody will refuse to collect this helmet from you as far as you do what my brother has said. Jimana, because I am going to make it work. Listen, I am going to give you charm that will make this very, very effective. Karajiko, shake it now. I've been a the passenger car. If you get your passenger, give it to him, and when he disappears, shake it, drive your Okada, go home, shower, come back to this place, and collect your two million naira. Two million. 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 Two Okay. Okay. We are going 
Yes, if not for my friend that told me about you and Alahaji, I would have gone somewhere as I would get big money. Only half a million? Yes. Okay. I'll give you two million naira. Hmm? Yes. Chief, 
You mean you give me two million now? Oh, Chief, I love you. Chief, really? you see, I'll continue to be giving it to you. Really? Yes, for the rest mm. of my life. You not girl. I'll give it to you. Mm, thank you, Chief. Yes. <laughs> On one condition. Yeah. Condition. Yeah, let's go. From you and that's I've been going to hospitals and to see some help out doctors. It's no solution. Mm. I don't know what else to do. I also heard Rose is in one of the villages now. She also has pipe and swollen breast too. Swollen? But I, I thought she said she's going to the United States for summer holidays. How come? That's what she said to avoid embarrassment. Tracy, <sighs> you you see we are gradually dying. Hey. You see we won't die. die. You won't I know we will die. die. But before we die. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. I am I am confused. Babe, I know we will die. I know we will die, but I I I ask for one thing. I ask for God's forgiveness. God, I'm sorry. Oh, forgive me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish they can learn from our mistakes. God, I am sorry. Samala, Samala, ha ha, Samala, ha ya, Samala. Hmm, Brother Dennis, I'm at your house and I was told that you're not around. Yes, good. Uh. But Dennis, there is something I want to say to you. Dickie. Dickie died yesterday. Yes, he died yesterday, confessing all the atrocities he has committed, including how he administered Philip to plant a charm in your shop that crippled your business. Yes. And he didn't stop there. He didn't stop there. This man planted a beautiful girl that made me turn against you and my mother. Oh yes, yes. Well anyhow, as I speak to you now, I'm just from the village, directly from the village. And the elders of Umobi have decided to take his body to the evil forest without a coffin. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the confessions he made 
That's why they took such decision. Now, Brother, Brother Dennis, I am telling you, as I speak to you, I'm from the village. That's the end of that wicked man. That's the end of him. No, uh, I'm not going to be here. What I will do is I will hang around town till you get back. When are you coming back? Five o'clock, okay, fine. I will hang around town. I'll come back by five o'clock. We need to sit and discuss these things. DK is dead. As I'm talking to you, he's dead. Okay, good. Good, brother Dennis. Good. Okay, then. I'll come around this evening. Bruno, let's go. No, 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 you will not get my point. Doctor, listen, listen to me. I know my brother very well. I know him very well. And I also know that he's not in a very good state of mind. Please, I need you to sedate him. Keep him in the hospital till we are done with his, with his wife's burial. Please. Oh no, doc, doctor, doctor, listen. Money should, shouldn't be our problem, okay? I have sufficient money, okay? Immediately I'm done with his wife's burial. Obviously, I'm going to come over to your hospital and see him. And I will give you whatever you require. Whatever. Trust me. Please, please help me do this favor. I need this favor from you. Hmm? Okay, okay, very well, very well, very well. You know, when someone dies from you, someone who you love so dearly, okay, Dennis's wife is mine, is my mom. She's someone who has been very close to my heart, very close to my heart. If then it comes for that bearer, he must just probably die. And then I will have two dead bodies on my head. And you, I guess you know what that means. So please, just keep him there. When we are done with the bearer, I will come and pay your visit, okay? Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Good day. Good day. Mm. Well, double, this is my call, and it's my mother's burial we're talking about. And I want to bury this woman in Grand Storm. Stibo, Stibo. I want to be part of this, bro. I double money. <laughs> I can't stay out of this money show, sure, either. Not possible. Not at all. <laughs> Let us put this woman away in style. In grand style. Yes. yes. Steve. This is money talk. We are brothers. We speak the same language. The language of money. Allow us to spend this money to the glory of Lucifer, son of the money. Lucifer, son of the money, the prince of cash. Well, you all have won, all of you. Now we give you the opportunity to donate, but nothing more than five million each. Oh, Steve, you insult me, bro. No, me, double money, mm? only five million naira. Mm. Double, Mark. Adi, I truly want this woman to forgive me. That's why I'm doing everything possible so she can forgive me. Okay. Okay, then let's give him 10 million naira each. No, 15 million naira each. 15 million naira, nothing less. I concur. 15, 15 million, million 
Naira cash. Good. <laughs> Beginning to feel the joy of this brotherhood. <laughs> eating cash. <laughs> eating money. Yes. <laughs> money eating real cash. Side. Jerry. Uh, which side? Number four Mega Street. Number four. Okay, now, now 100 naira now. It's 70 naira now. Uh, uh, Madam, the place is too far now. I know. Shabby, I'm, I, I live there. Oh, 70 okay. naira. Oh, okay, come and come. Come <coughs> Madame, I beg. We are your hair mint. We are the hair mint now. Make with the go. I'll wear it. Let's go. Let's Madame, go. just wear it. Not in them now. We just wear the hair mint. No seconds will they disturb. I said I've had your coil. Now wear it. Just let's go. Okay, I'll wear it. Let's go. Please, take it easy. Two million. Man, my village go here. Passengers not the common. My dad goes to carry on calling more money now. Now, now. Somebody, somebody, ha ha, somebody, ha ha, somebody, somebody. What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? The helmet or your money? What is your problem? We are the helmet. What is the problem? I'm going to suspect you. If you are going to say what's going to happen, you write. You know what's going to say? Can't you say this stop? Which kind? Now we are going to the open now. Where your helmet? We are the helmet. I beg. I beg. You won't show yourself. Where it? I know where it's meant for. Hey, hey! I'm going to do something to talk like this. What's going to be the problem? What's going to be? No, I can't walk up past. Who called you? Madam, what will be this problem? What did happen here? What did you say? Why did you say that? Madam, I will tell you why. Who called you? What will be the problem now? Madam, I can't walk up past. I can't walk up past. Let me play the game. Madam, I can't walk up past. Why did you say that? Where the cement? Where the cement? Where the cement? No, I'm not inside. Oh, come on. Where the cement? I said, 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 where the cement?
Inga Inu. Let's go. I'm hearing a noise inside. Tina, let's let's check. I'm hearing noise inside. Are you like, sure? Shh, noise. Ah. Let's check. Let's check. Okay. They're inside. Let's check. The door is even open. Sir. Oh, you see him. Like this, just say, just say, just, just say, please, just please come around, come around, help me. Jesus Christ, what's going on? What happened to you? Oh my God! You mean this is Nelly and Joyce? That's what happened. What, what, what happened to them? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go from here. Let's go. Are you just leave here? We have to do something now. We can't just leave them here. Take that to the hospital or something. Oh, okay, okay. Even if we're going to help them now, we have to go outside and get some help. Because we can't leave alone. You understand? We can't. Let's, let's go outside and get someone to help us. There's, there's, there's no, no need for, for, for that. I'm, I'm, I'm almost at the point of death. I, I, I was the one that dragged Joyce into this home because of my greed for money. No, no. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about price. Do you understand me? Don't talk to me about price. What I want you to do is to make me a golden casket. That's what I need for my mother's burial. You don't understand. You just don't understand. This woman means everything to me. It's everything to me. And I want to celebrate her in grand style. I want to celebrate her death in grand style. Everything. Yes, yes, she did all that she could, now she's dead and gone. What do I have to give her? Nothing. No, no, listen to me, listen to me. The price does not matter. I don't care the price. But I want you to put your voice and everything intact. That let me have this golden casket and every other thing for my mother's burial. Please. She was the whole world to me. She needs everything to Please, please do this for me. Because that's the only way she can forgive me. Thank you. Whatever you do now, yeah. Surely comes after you. You can't hide from the shadow. The shadows, yeah. Why do you destroy me? Material things got a price to pay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. What's up, girl? Oh my god. Um, uh, uh, don't tell me you're thinking about your ex style. My dear, you look stressed. For how long will this continue? Huh? How long will you bother about a man that dumped you for probably another woman? If I were in your shield there, I will forget about him. And this guy will be your life. That's all. Huh? <laughs> you don't understand me. And you will never ever understand Mary. Oh. And she forget about him. Yes. You just need it. So easy for you to say. Girlfriend, there's nothing for me to understand. Okay? There's nothing for me to understand there because no man wants any tears. Okay? So you just need to forget it. Is it that you, you just you just forget it all? Or you, you, you just grow up with your life? 
Okay? Listen to me. Forget about her. Don't you ever talk about my Steve in that manner. I'm sorry. Don't you ever, okay? Alright. You should forget about him. But that's what a girlfriend should tell the best. Okay? I said, don't oh, you I'm ever sorry. talk about my Steve in that manner again. Alright, then. I'm sorry. If I'm not welcomed in your house, I can as well leave. I'm not saying you should leave, eh? Then better behave yourself and stop talking about my Steve that way. Alright, sorry. But I mean, I just need to advise you as a friend. That's it, and that's what I'm doing. Hey, 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 just okay. keep your advice to yourself. I don't need it, okay? Alright, fine, it's okay. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Let me have my peace. What goes around comes around, yeah. What goes yeah. around? You can't hide from your shadow. Hello, young girl. Let's give you a ride. Where are you going? No, thanks. You can't say no. You can't refuse my kind gesture. Can you go? Meanwhile, this road is so lonely. But I said no. I'm fine, okay? But I insist. Was it Mary? Go and get her by force. Reverend sister, my foot. Can you go? Go and get her by force. I believe you can tell me. Huh? It says that problem shell are problem half soft. So I believe you can tell me and we understand. I love him. I love him so much. I love him. You are loving man. I know things you're capable of doing, but you see that love, it's not there, it's not among it. How do you mean? You know I know you too well. I know how many men you've dealt with in the past. But that doesn't change the fact, you just need to change your attitude. And you just need to learn how to love sincerely. Me. Not because of the money. You believe me? I have learned. I have learned okay. You haven't learned anything. You haven't learned anything. Listen, girlfriend. 
You just have to trust me on this. I'm a changed person now. I mean, look at this. I'm a changed person. <laughs> All I need you to do for me now is to, to tell me or teach me how to win Steve love. I need to win his love back, please. <laughs> All I need to tell you is that you go back to Tony, your husband. Otherwise, you'll be arrested for bigamy. And you know what it means, don't you? <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. My <laughs> dear, that is the kind of advice I have for you as a friend. You just need to take it that way, okay? <laughs> I love him and I want him. But I want him. But... <laughs> Drink up. Goes around, comes around, yeah. Goes around. You can't hide from your shadow. Surely comes after you. You can't hide from your shadow, your shadows, yeah. Why do you destroy man for material things? Got a price to pay, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. For evil, find you, find you on someday. So you better change your ways today. Gets to lay on you, yeah, yeah. For it gets to lay to you. What goes around comes around, yeah. You can't hide from your shadow. What goes around comes around, yeah. You can't hide from your shadow.
It's now a nightmare. 